So, when we left off, our six adventurers had just encountered the hand for the first time. They had located an omen in the form of a hand pinned to the father tree of the city of Oakhaven, and through that omen were able to locate a small cluster that were located inside of the city chapel. They were able to defeat that small group, and unbeknownst to them, two of the city or the village's main defenders were holding off a much larger group. Upon finishing their own battle, they returned to the tavern where they'd spent so much of their day already, where they learned that one of the city's two defenders fell. After a somber moment of regrouping and getting everybody back on their feet, it was decided that the group needed to leave. And on their way out of the village, Jiren, the village blacksmith, provided the group a small bag of supplies. A deceptively small one, I should say. It was hard to lift. But, having made their way out, and with Leos providing one final somber goodbye from Cynthia, specifically for Emery, the group made their way off, now walking a well-trodden path on the way to the city of Raven's Hollow, the capital city of the southwest or southeast. Things have been tense, and now that it's just the six of them wandering on their own with no one else to break up the tension, it seems like it may be at a boiling point. So, first person I want to ask is Lonan. You have had a lot of things on your mind through the past day. And now that there are no distractions, there's no one else to run to, you are left with these five other people for the better part of two days as you make your way to Raven's Hollow. Is there anyone specifically that you would like to talk to as you all begin your travels? Um, yes. So, not really talk to, I'm just going to kind of check on Leos that first night and make sure he's good to go and he's not dying. Um, uh, but the first night, I will specifically wait for Revan's turn to take a watch. Okay. Just for the record, you guys are currently walking. You are not settling down anywhere to camp. You will have to make that decision to do so. I, then I'm not going to do anything because I want uh, it's going to take time and I would rather do that when we wait. So just during the whole time, I'm going to stay close to Lonan if we're tra actively traveling um, and just or uh, stay close to Leos and um, just make sure that he's OK. Help him and just stay close to him, keeping an eye behind us to make sure no one's following. Okay. Leos, you are holding on by a wing and a prayer to a God you don't even believe in. As you're walking, is there anything that you want to do? Any discussions you want to have with either Lonan, who is walking beside you, or the rest of the group that's kind of scattered around in different spots as the, or along the trail? Um, yes. Uh, for, for one, I would, um, I would ask of, of any, any potential aid we have, whether it be in the form of a potion to, to heal myself. I, I imagine Leos is is trying his hardest to not show weakness because he's been through the gambit, but he needs something. And I think I'm going to ask Lonin if if there's anything that he can do to help. Um, who has the the pack? Hey, Revan. Okay. Uh, I will go up to Revan. Then. Revan has it. Um, <laughs> of course, of course. He's the only one that can lift it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Leos or uh, Will will go up to Revan. Uh, anything in that pack to help Leos? He's he's falling behind. Are we referring to you as Will? Are you asking me or you? Sorry, above the table. Oh. You can you ask. And me. I heard him. You and I heard him because he told me his name was Lonin, and you were with me. Everybody okay. has heard my name. Okay, so you can call I me just wanted to be sure. Because you said, yep. well, I just didn't know if it was still like yeah. a secret or not. It's a bad habit um, at this point. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. Um, and I just... Revan will look over at Leos 
see the bad shape he's in. And um, I don't remember the exact contents. I know there, there were potions in there, but I wasn't able to jot down the exact contents of it. Um, do we have something with a list of that stuff? I can give you a list, but for the sake of brevity for right now, I will say that there are about 14 lesser healing potions. Okay. So I'll just reach, uh, Revan reaches into the bag, um, grabs uh, a lesser and hands it over to uh, Lonin. Not making eye contact, just hands it to him. I will walk away and then I'll get about six steps, double back. Thank you. And keep walking. And uh, I'll give I'll give him the healing potion. I'll give Leos the healing potion. Okay. So Leos, when you decide to drink this potion, you get healed for two d four plus two. Two oh two d four plus two. Okay. Hopefully, all of his healing, all of his life points. <laughs> that would <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Be uh, so the. <laughs> Uh, well, the first one's a one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You got three already. <laughs> second, second one is a two. Uh, <laughs> so you heal five, five. Five healing. Okay. Not bad. Uh, so, okay, yeah, that, that's no, that's not bad at all. Um, and then, oh no, that's perfect. Wait, hold on, I did one too many. Okay. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to thank Lonin. Uh, I'm going to look back at Revan and, um, I'm going to give him, you know, I'm going to acknowledge that, that he's helped a great deal. You are behind him. So you would have to say something to him in order for him to realize you're acknowledging him. Otherwise okay. you're just nodding. Okay. Um, actually, okay. A, a question on that note. Um, is this because I'm falling back? Because I think, okay, okay. Um, so then I'm actually not gonna say thank you. Um, if if I'm able to, Loli, I'd like to actually try to halt the group for a second. Um, How would you like to do it? I, I would just like to, um, uh, after, after I drink my potion, I'm gonna say, um, I I'm gonna say thank you to everybody um they they didn't have to fight the cultists that are hunting myself and Lone in uh whether it was you know a selfish desire whether it was for Emery doesn't matter it ultimately helped you know the group and it's all for the greater good uh and if I may I'd like to actually use my feet inspiring leader which gives everybody within 30 feet of me one temporary health point So you kind of make a, a gentle yell just for the group to stop. You don't want it to seem urgent, but they all kind of stop where they are and they move back towards you and they listen as you speak. Does anyone have anything they would like to say in response? So are we headed to Raven Hollow? Raven's Hollow? <clears throat> I believe so. I'm pretty parched after that fight. Are we going to, you know? Take a rest soon. Kind of. It was just kind of a little bit of a star that day. <laughs> that is for the group to decide. I um, will. Lonan is just looking at Revan, not in a threatening way, just looking. I do have to make it by tomorrow. Um. I have a big performance for the new birth of an heir. What time is it about? Right now it's close to sundown, so it's it's about 7, almost 8 o'clock. Well, seeing as we shouldn't travel through the night, I say we travel about... Um... I actually don't know above the table how to determine this. I guess an hour. can we just use like regular terms like an hour and that makes about sense, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it's a twenty-four hour day still. Okay, I didn't know if there was like a way of tracking that or not. Um, I say we travel about another hour and then make camp. That way we can at least get a little farther ahead. I agree. 
Does that work with really easy? Leos, how are you feeling? We carry on. I look down at Emery. You good? He's still just looking down and nods like... Okay. Then we go. Okay. We get our temporary hit point, right? Oh, yes, sorry. you do. So, the group continues walking. Now, Revan, hmm. are you, I'm assuming you would be either in the front or close to the front if someone else is walking beside you. So I was going to ask you, uh, just for obviously not interrupting purposes, but when we hmm. are traveling, how do you want us to go about, like, I'm keeping my eyes peeled kind of thing? Do we just need to time that correctly, or if we think about it, just kind of, like, say If it. it's in the middle of a conversation... I'm not going to interrupt a conversation and be like, oh, an arrow flies out and hits someone in the neck. You don't have okay. to worry about it then. It's just after that, if you want to roll a perception check, see if okay. you find something. Then, Like if you want um, to look out for things. Then on the way, um, I'll be I'll be in the front, but I'm not going to be too far ahead from anybody. I'm just going to make sure that we're all kind of staying within a group. Uh, I'll Revan will look over his shoulder and let everyone know to kind of keep close as we travel. Uh, Emery will be I'll be holding her hand, but not like on my direct side, just kind of like a little bit back, just so I can keep my eyes peeled, knowing that they have full vision of her as well. Emery, like, would you be holding Revan's hand? And, and then... then mm -hmm. okay. Z, anything on your mind that you want to get out? Anyone you want to speak to? Any particular marching order for you in the front, in the back? Um, I'm gonna be right behind uh, Emory, um, and I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for anything that looks suspicious, anything at all. Okay. And Emory, it's been a rough day for you, having just been adopted, and then subsequently losing one of your adoptive parents anything on your mind anything you'd like to talk to anyone about anything you're doing as you're walking um she'll be keeping her head down just looking at the ground as she's walking kicking whatever rock she sees counting whatever rock she sees if she finds a shiny smooth rock she might try to pick it up but other than that she's just thinking about what she saw as she left and her face probably still stained with tears but there are probably a few more coming out still that she's trying to hide from everyone it's just like one tear but she doesn't talk to anyone and as you're walking you feel that steady heartbeat it rises in in, in tempo every once in a while and you could probably imagine why but no messages come through and then, last but not least, Gluteus. You've never really been one for somber moods, and you can tell that there's a lot of tension within the rest of the group. Is anyone in particular you'd like to speak to, walk next to, anything you'd like to do as you were walking? Yeah, I would actually like to uh, talk to Leos. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, are we in the front? Uh, you... So uh, this is immediately after the group has all kind of stopped and gathered together. So you can choose who you want to walk next to. So yeah, it's I'll... Revan and Emery in the front, and then Zelathun kind of just behind them, and then I would imagine Leos and Lonan behind the or behind the Z. Yeah, I would like to go just check on Leos. Um, just be like, so what are you gonna do when you uh, have to enter a city, being a prisoner? And all. It's um, it it will be very strange. You've you've been to Raven's Hollow, yeah? Plenty of times. The uh, they have a giant wall. I'll tell you that. And uh, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get you in. I know how to get in. Uh, what does uh? What does that mean, exactly? 
either have some money or uh, let's just say you got to find a couple of holes in the, the armor. Mm. You know, Gladius, I, you, you fought bravely back there. I apologize for making a poor judgment call on your character. I would give it all up to uh, Lonan. While you were dying, Lonan. Lonan kind of saved the group. He is a, he's a very, very good man. And very dangerous with those daggers. <laughs> I'm a little hesitant with both of you guys. Um, let's just say I have a good reputation at these places, and uh, I'd, uh, I might have to, you know, split off. Who knows? But uh, I would like to be able to prevent that for the group. What do you mean, split off? Talk to people I might know, be able to get you guys in keep the kids safe i mean we are an odd group we kind of stick out Vladius, can can you promise me something i don't keep very many promises if i can't keep it so i'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> if i can't get in make sure emery can no matter what well you know I have some tricks up my sleeve. I think I can pendangle us in. I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy. But uh, <laughs> all I ask is don't run away from the fight this time. <laughs> I hope I don't get stabbed this time. Hey, you don't see me and the kid getting stabbed. So, uh, you know, get better. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. And yeah, Leo's kind of Leo's kind of cracks a smile. Uh, and they just keep on keeping on. He really just said skill issue to you. <laughs> and um, I'll uh, I want to head back and kind of walk with Z. Uh, once you know, I'll just head over to Z. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, I'm gonna look at Z and I'm gonna ask my question. So what's your uh, your real reason on going to Raven's Hollow? I mean, kind of get the gist of what everybody's doing. I just kind of want to have a better idea. I kind of stuck out of the group a little bit, trying to have some fun. What I spoke of is true. I am going to visit my sister. Um, currently, my son is also with her as well, so... It'll be nice to see them. That's really the main reason. Like you said, I'm just asking questions because I have my main goal is to, you know, I have a big performance and I, you know, I don't want to miss it. And, you know, there's a lot of open end questions, guys. So, you know, I'll believe I, you for now. <laughs> I'll say this out loud uh, so that everybody can hear it. I do think that we all need to have a sit down when we make camp and have a conversation about what all of our goals are. I think it'll be necessary for us moving forward and safer. I'm down with that. Um, Will is going to just stare at Revan. Once again, not threatening. Revan probably doesn't even see it. But if you look back, Revan, if you ever look back, Lonan's looking at you. That's all. Well, if that's the case, if it is non-stop, then yeah, at some points I'll absolutely catch it, but nothing in return. <laughs> um, to Z saying that we all need to have a sit down. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we can. Um, how much time has passed, or is that just kind of like brief conversation after the start? That's yeah, about five, maybe ten minutes. Oh, okay. No, that's it from Revan. Keep walking. So then as you are all walking, 
I'm going to need Revan, Z, and Leos to all roll perception checks. Before I, I roll this, looking, Go ahead. I also was looking. It was the first thing I said as I was looking at things were following us behind. Are you staring at Revan or are you looking around? You can't do both. Oh, fuck. That's true. I'm staring at Revan. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I was um, in the beginning and now I'm not. One note that I was going to make uh, before this, I just blazed over it. Um, can I have the smallest conversation with Emery before the roll, or is that the roll's already yeah, happened? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Emmy. Mm -hmm. If anything happens on the way there, as you can see, and I turn around and look at Z, um, you trust Z, yeah? Enough? He thinks for a moment. Is of what just happened and how her life was completely normal until all these crazy people showed up. I think so. And then she looks up at Revan. Do you trust him? And as we're walking, I'll kind of lean down enough to make sure that Z doesn't hear it. Enough. Just, just enough. I do. I think if I need him to do something for you, he will. He didn't seem to um, falter when he needed to with you. So, I stand back up and say loud enough for Z to hear if we come across anything and I need to put you toward the middle can I let go of your hand and Z you got it? I do. Does that work for you, Emmy? Okay. So with I got that, her too. With that in mind, if Revan does see, like almost kind of like a preemptive action, almost always ready to just like let go and go for the thing so that they're not hit together, kind of thing. That's what Revan's keeping in his head before the perception check. That was it. The entire time, though, with her right hand, if she's on his right side with her right hand, she does keep playing with the sickle that's on her side. Meaning, like, it is in her hand. She's just playing with it because it's new and something to do. Does the side really matter in terms of, like... Okay, cool. And whatever works. I you know, know if for you, if, if she's on your right side, that would just be your sword hand. But you said you're going to let it go anyway if something happens, so it doesn't really yeah. make a difference. Okay. Okay. So, Revan, Z, Leos, perception checks, please. Does Rev hear what I said or no? Uh, 16. 16. Have you shouted that? I think we would, right? Yeah. I definitely did. Uh, 12. I just didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't know he was going to What'd you me. roll, Bryce? 16. Two 16s and a 12? Okay. So. It's an awkward first hour. The brief conversations you had at the opening as you slowly drew further and further away from Oak Haven didn't really do much to ease the tension, especially... Since it seems like a few people are purposefully avoiding each other. But the hour is still quiet and in a good way. Nothing seems to be halting your progress in any sort of way. You don't run into any issues on the road. As you are walking, you do notice that a hill on one side is slowly growing. And you can see if you look that it's actually starting to form into a mountain. And close to the end of that hour, Revan... You being in the front would notice at first that there is a small opening in the side of a rock. It looks big enough for maybe one person to squeeze through at a time, maybe one and a half if one of you was small enough to stand side by side in a space like that. But beyond that little opening that you can see through a break in the trees, not much. I'll stop very briefly. Um... Do the others that rolled for this see it as well, or is it just me first? Yes, you're just the first one that sees it. The okay. other two do as well. So once I see it, I'll kind of come to like a slow and then a halt until they see it, and we can all stop and talk. Um, That looks like somewhere we can stay for the night, but I think that we should carefully, or some of us, should carefully check it out. Uh, I don't think that we should just walk right in there like there's 
obviously, and I look around. We don't know where we are. Does anyone I has, can go. has anyone recognized? Hold on, before I actually want to get to that. Does anyone know? Has anyone been on this road of our group? The only one that would have, like, had any kind of memory of this road would be Gluteus. You can make a history check if you'd like. Yeah. Just because I don't want my statement to be... 22? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking lore bards, man. Yeah. So, <laughs> you don't recognize this hole as anything major it's not something that's like a, a tourist attraction or anything like that but you you have seen it there before you've never been into it yourself because you had no reason to you've always been traveling back and forth in order to actually get to a destination and usually you have at the very least like a merchant's cart that you're riding in so you had a much easier way of finding places to rest has anyone been around here i mean i passed it a couple of times but never needed to go inside but i know staying on the main trail very long in the dark it uh it only increases our chances of you know pointing to um the prisoners but not calling them that but calling lonin and leos <clears throat> pointing to them that's gonna be a little bit of an issue if we don't you know find some shelter I don't think I... I don't think Revan knows what he's talking about. Yes, I you do? do. I, I told the whole group mm. in front of the yeah. chapel. Oh, when you you said you didn't ask. Got it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah. that's true. Um, okay, and then go ahead. I can um, I can go. It seems like the only people that can fit through that are me and the kid, and um, probably better idea if I just go myself. So you can I'll all call me fat. Like, Based on a quick inspection, you can all fit through the gap. It's just you couldn't walk through it side by side. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm um. I'm pretty quiet, so I can go first. If I die, then probably won't be that big of a loss, to be honest. I'll fall I. Soon. I trust. I trust Lonin. I'll make it back. I'll go with Lonin. Hold on. Lone in. I look over at him, and then first time actually making eye contact with him. You first, me second. The kid stays in between all of us. Everyone can follow suit wherever they want. As I'm holding Revan's hand, um, since it's been a while, can I do Blessing of a Trickster? Since we're holding hands, or no? If you would like to give him the advantage on stealth, yeah. I would do that. Just Please in do case. Thank you. Just because I'm holding his hand, because I thought if Blonin Please was going by himself, I was gonna just boost him, but he's already got an eye one, so Yeah. Um I will head out in front and I'll just look at Revan and I'll say, just give me space. For the safety. Uh, okay. And are then I will you... go ahead. Oh no, I'm just gonna say and then I'm gonna sneak into the cave. Okay. Or rock. Before I get you to roll for that. Is everyone going in? I um, was actually planning on saying I'm going to wait and let Lonin, <laughs> yeah, and let Lonin scope it out first because I trust that he is going to be the most capable if something goes wrong to get out of there. So that is that is my personal pitch to the group. I think it's too dangerous. Should I stay out? As Emma? Yes. 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 Leo's, you state this out loud, yeah? I, I do. Can, I, yes. can you give your Can you give your pitch, like specifically? Yeah. Um, listen, I I trust Lonin. He is he is quick. He is light on his feet. If there is something in there, he will make it out, and he will make it out unseen. Let him go first for the safety of this group, and he'll return. I look up at Revan. I'll stay with Leos. I can protect him. I think Leos is right. I think that we should let Lonin go. And that's kind of like Revan's way of like, you know, understanding, making, making an attempt with Lonin, but that's it. Yeah, we'll let Lonin go. We'll wait outside. 
I think Leo says idea is better. Now, if at the off chance, Lonin gets in trouble, Revan, he'll need a sword by his side. Will you join him? At this time, I will take out the pouch of stones and hand them out to everyone. Um, to which I explain, with these, you just have to squeeze or you have to hold it up. How do they work? You just have to hold it. It essentially allows you to cast the sending. I, I can't remember if it's a spell or a cantrip. It allows you to cast sending with it so you can send someone a message. Does it take up, like, say, a sword and board, right? Does it? Do I have to have a free hand for this? Hmm. Ooh, tricky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these were given to me by Jurin. They will allow us to send very short messages. I think purely based off of, and I kind of look at my stature. I will go with him, but if you think that he has the, the proper skills to be stealthy enough to go alone he has a way to reach us and he can he can send messages quietly right you can uh, whisper into the stones maybe in other stones One yes phrase, right yeah. oh so oh, what do you, these, ones? How do, these ones you have to say you have to loud? speak directly into it yeah oh boy <laughs> so Tell Revan yeah. Revan will take a step back just so that we can have a, an idea for character development wise and just say quietly um help anything who are you sending it to oh it has to be direct oh can it be a group thing right it, yeah okay so to the group I'm looking at it as a marine shaking it yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leos is confused. He's so, like, these are broken. <laughs> the the reason why you can't whisper into it is because Jiren didn't have the time to make full proper sending stone. So it is a very, oh, right. very basic version. Okay. Um Oh boy. Um Don't worry. I got it. He's not I'm, going alone. Not, I I am going alone. Lone and alone. Let me follow. I no, because you are just going to get me caught, and then we will all die if something is in there. If I'm by myself, and I'm, I I'm die by myself... I'm very good with my words. You know I can do it. Glute, no. I will kill you in the dark if you go. Do not follow me. Don't tempt me with a good time. Just let me go. If something happens, at least the kid is safe. It's fine. And I will go by myself. I will slip into the cave. Uh, any first sign of trouble, you come back. Okay. I'm outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Emery, um, do you give him the blessing before he leaves? Uh, a blessing of a trickster? Oh, that's right. Well, I had already given it to him before we all decided this. You can move it at will. Okay. Ooh. Well, when he sticks his thumb out, I go and I reach for it and just slightly tap his, <laughs> tap his hand. Don't feel it. Like like a high five to awesome. him. You know? <laughs> he like flinches. Like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Pull it in. Can, can I ask something really quick? No. That may be of importance. Um, I was gonna put like a time limit on how long until we'd go in and or I'd go in and look for Lonan if he didn't come out. I mean. I obviously don't know how big this is or how, how big this like you know area is um is is this too much metagaming if if you were able to tell me how much is a realistic time for him to return or I'd have to just like you got to set that yourself chief mm -hmm. um okay then I'm going to tell him he's got he's got 10 minutes to come back out okay okay follow up question to you, Lonan. You don't have dark vision, and it is past sunset. You are walking into this cave blindly. How do you plan on seeing? I have a torch. So you light a torch and hold that in one hand? I do. Okay. 
So, I'm gonna make things a little bit more complicated for you. Um, okay, so as you're walking into the cave, we'll say straight roll of stealth. Wait, I have a we'll dagger. Mm -hmm. I have a dagger in one hand. I pocketed the sending stone since apparently it doesn't work, and then I will <laughs> Fuck torch in one hand. <laughs> torch in one hand, dagger in the other. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we hear the echo coming out of the cave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a 19. Okay. So as you enter this small opening, you manage to find a way to crouch down and keep your footsteps quiet enough that even you can't hear them without actively listening for them. Since and that's you... the case, if I hear anything that is not me, that torch is in the ground. I will snuff it immediately if okay. I hear anything that doesn't belong to me. So... As you continue walking, you start to realize how long this tunnel is. It goes about 40-ish feet, but it goes 20 feet straight into the wall, and then it has like a slight turn. And as you round that little corner, you find yourself in this large opening. And I need you to make a perception check. Four. In this moment, with all the stress of having to go alone and being in an area you're not familiar with because you don't often go into caves, usually your line of work leaves you in people's homes or out in the street even sometimes in an act of desperation, you're not comfortable. So as you look around, it's very quick. You don't try to actually catch any details. You're looking for flicks of movement, and you don't catch any. But I feel uneasy. Because of your surroundings, not necessarily because you think something's wrong. How big is the opening that I can see with this torch lit in front of me? So, with the torch, you don't see a back wall. You can see the sides, but it just kind of stretches out in front of you. Okay. I will... Not, I, I will I will head back. I will actually go back. If I have a bad feeling, I'm going to go back. So, as you turn to go back toward the group, you felt cold when you walked in, which is unusual for you. Heat, cold, doesn't usually bother you. But then you feel a different kind of cold pressed to the side of your neck. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I will use... Um, yeah, I will use knowledge from a past life. So when I make an ability check that uses a skill, I can roll a d6 after seeing the d mm -hmm. after I roll a d20. So I'm going to use that just in case. Okay. Dexterity saving throw, you said? Actually, just a straight dexterity check. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. And then I can roll a d6 on top of that. Uh, so it's going to be 23. Okay. So it's very quick. It's not something you've ever felt before, but you know immediately that it's not something you should be feeling. So you feel that cold feeling on the side of your neck that feels oddly like sharp metal, and you immediately duck out of the way of it and make an attack roll with a dagger that's in your hand. Um... Oh, that's right. Um, 19. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, five. Five. Okay. So, on reaction, you duck out of the way and immediately just push your dagger in the direction where you think the body is and you find that it sinks into the side of something. It is very familiar to you, so it certainly is flesh, but without turning the torch as well, and once you finally do that, you realize there is a hooded and masked figure standing in front of you with a very cruel-looking dagger that has just kind of been snuffed out of the way and is now like stuck out behind him as he kind of recoils from being stabbed in the side. At this quick look, does, does anything that this person is wearing look familiar? No. 
His clothes are tattered. He is very much in bad shape. He's very thin, and from the little bits you can see of his hand, it's mostly bone. Do I have another act? Do I, can I do something else, or...? If you have anything you can do on a bonus action. Um, so I have two weapon fighting. If I mm -hmm. were to use this torch and shove it in his face while it's on fire, would that be considered a bonus action to do it? No, because I only get one attack each turn. I just answered mm -hmm. my own question. No, um, I'm just going to try to get away from him. I'm going to move away. What's your AC? 14. He tries to take a swing at you, but he's still recoiling from the pain of a dagger sinking into his side, so he just kind of swipes idly at you, and he just catches air. It's like he was striking where you were before you even started moving. Okay. Dope. Um, I'm going to move, and I'm going to use my action to double dash away. So I want to run away from him, back to the entrance of the cave. Okay. So you make it back to the entrance, and you don't hear footsteps behind you. As soon as I get out of the entrance, I'll have the torch. Um, and actually, as I see the light of the, the, the cave, right before I exit the cave, I'm going to just drop the torch in there. Okay. So that way nobody outside the cave can see it. And as soon as I go out, uh, there's someone in there. Someone. I'm one. What they look like? Not well. Not like the people we saw at the chapel. Someone new. Something happened. Um. They uh, they tried to grab me. I stabbed them. Then, then we I leave. Got away. <laughs> then we leave. What if they need to sleep? We can or. What'd you say, Robin? Dead. What if they're, if they're dead, they won't bother us? It, Emery, we can't... We can't put everything to sleep. Some things are better but off he, left alone. He tried to grab them, though. Sometimes. Lonely. You just have to let him be. He's Lonely, probably I need been you to make years. another dexterity check. <laughs> Me? I don't know what Fuck that. I'm using inspiration. <laughs> there we go. 22. Okay. And now I have a question. Yeah. Who else is standing directly in front of the, the hole to, like, the hole in the wall? It's Revan, I think, yeah. I would just, I would have been as well. Okay. And Revan, are you holding your shield? Would you have been holding your shield as you were standing there at the front of the cavern? Depending on how quickly all of this happened, how long was he gone? A minute and a half to two minutes. Yeah, I, I Revan would have taken him out by now. Okay. So, Lonan, there's this feeling that you get. Not one you've ever had before. It's almost like your past self is telling you something that it shouldn't know but the hair on the back of your neck stands up and without even thinking without even meaning to do it you fall to the floor and just as you do you hear the whizzing of a bolt going straight through where you were just standing and sinking into the shield on Revan's arm yes. time to go <laughs> and I need all six of you to roll initiative. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Uh, oh, okay. and, and I knew this okay. cave was bad oh, news, no, bears, no. buddies. <laughs> no, it was so close. Come on. The music, baby. Oh, God. Cool. Fucking dope. <laughs> Dude, I just had I it roll off of a 20 so slow. It <laughs> hurt my soul. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled to an 8 for 10. Oh. Roll. Pain. Hold on to your oh. initiative rolls. Don't tell me them yet. No, oh, oh. sorry. My bad, my bad. Damn it. Dude, I just imagined Lona just did like a Matrix style of the arch. Just... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I actually kind of saw him just like flop. Just because like, <laughs> he didn't mean to. <laughs> a ragdoll. 
<laughs> you know, imagine and Lonin's mind, he looked really cool landing, <laughs> but for <laughs> all of us, he just ragdolled to the side. <laughs> I did a three point deep dive like Black Widow, but in reality, I just fell over a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news bears over here, partners. Oh no, are you guys not watching this man? He keeps rolling. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. That's why I'm like watching you. Like, when is it gonna end? What is oh, happening? Stop, stop rolling. We can't hear it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I know. Oh, damn you. Damn you, Curtis. I know. Why are you such a good friend? God damn it. Here, okay? <laughs> that new mic <Michael> okay. number. <laughs> uh, I. Uh, G, you did roll in D and D Beyond, right? So that is correct. The number that's there. Yes. Okay, so I already have Z and Emery then. Revan, what did you roll? Nine. Okay. Lonan? Cute little four. I rolled oh, a natural one. We are rolling oh, so good. <laughs> this is gonna go great. <laughs> mm, Everything's fine. Uh, nine as well. Bro, <laughs> please. <laughs> hey, Our bard rolls the highest? <laughs> <laughs> Curtis, what did you roll? 17. Oh, yeah, the bard that's out of shit. spell slots, guys. The bard Whoa. that has no spell oh, slots God. right now. Yeah. Same. You know? I don't have any either. Yeah. No! Cool. cool. But you do cool. have a new weapon. Yes. I and do. a temporary hit point. We don't need one, it. Temporary, <laughs> one temporary hit point. Also, also, in regards to temporary hit points, you lose the temporary hit point before you lose the rest of your health. Of your health. D and D Beyond should automatically do it, but just in case. So temporary hit points always go first before your actual health. Okay. Good okay. Enough. So just add yeah. one and then minus it. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's also yeah. a place in it for uh, Curtis in D and D Beyond. If you look next to where it says your health, you'll see where it says temp. If you click underneath temp, you can add one. Oh, okay. I was wondering what yeah. that one did. I was trying to figure yeah. out how to. Yeah. And if you remove it. damage, D and D Beyond should automatically remove the temporary hit point on its own. I okay. just checked. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but I so do have. Make sure I do this right. I believe in you. No, don't Everybody do it right. Do it wrong. Yeah, I'm I'm fuck it up. up. Please. <laughs> fuck it up. It's a, new it's a new opportunity to learn. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Z, re-roll, re-roll on inspiration. <laughs> I'm the DM right now. <laughs> Top initiative is actually the bandit that is in the center of the cave. So, he is going to take a shot right at Lonan, because he's in front of him. And that is a 15. That hits. You take three piercing damage as you start to stand up after just in, uh, instinctively dodging that first bolt. You stand up and you catch another one as it kind of grazes through your side and falls to the ground in front of you after losing its inertia and going through your body. Okay. And then he is going to back up and wait there. So that is the end of his turn. Now, Gluteus, it is on you. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to move by si by by the side of Emery, and I guess I'd be. How do I move it? You Select can click it. and drag it. Okay, I'd like to move right here, and then I would like to give um Revan a uh, bardic inspiration by singing. In the night has come. <laughs> And the land is dark, yes. but the moon is the only light we'll see. We have to make sure we get uh, licensing for that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fucked. <laughs> All this music, yeah. we're fucked. <laughs> okay. So, Revan, you now have Bardic Inspiration. Uh, how does that work again? It's a D6 to an ability check or an attack roll. Okay. And you oh, have that for that, 10 minutes. I forgot oh, that I said that I'm, I'm equipping my rapier. Rap okay. So that's your okay. bonus action and your action. Would you like to move anywhere else or are you staying there? Staying right there. 
With that being the end of his turn, we now move to... I'm gonna have to flip a coin here. Uh, Z, you are up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Gonna move up to I'm gonna move up to uh next to London. So that and... is a cliff facing the rock. Okay, gotcha. Because so I you can could see... stand directly behind him or you could stand like here or here. Okay, gotcha. Um then I will retract that as far as there gonna move over to yeah I'm, I'm gonna say where you put me actually um okay. and then i'm going to hold my action to shoot an eldritch blast at whoever peeks through there since i don't see anybody yeah. um and yeah that, that'll be what i do okay. and with that being the end of z's turn emory it is now on you you were looking down this tunnel, and the one guy that you could see that had fired the crossbow bolt at Lonan is now gone. Okay. Um, I'm within 25 feet of the torch. I would like to cast my favorite, Thermagaga, at <laughs> the torch to brighten the light to see if everyone can see any further. Does it specify on how much it, it brightens? Um, do, 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 do. it just says you can cause flames to flicker, brighten or dim, or change colors for one minute. Area range is thirty feet, but I, it's a con, it's a controlled, so I have to stay okay. controlled. Okay, so I will just double the range on that torch then. All right, anything else you'd like to do with your turn, or is that it? Um, all I would say is, uh, Revan like kind of panicking a little bit but not not scared just panicking a little bit and just focusing on the light but that's it okay. <laughs> i don't want to poop <laughs> <laughs> moving down the list we have leos it is your turn um i'm gonna move i'm gonna move right behind emory here let me take a goosey gander at what I got. Um, a goosey gander that's so adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a goosey I'm so gander. Right now. I'm so scared um, right now, guys. Feeling so loosey goosey. <laughs> okay. I don't really know how this is gonna work. Um, so I, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cast minor illusion and i'm gonna make it sound like we have um maybe double or triple the amount of, of people i don't really know exactly it doesn't specify it says i can really just make any uh any sound and the volume can range from a whisper to a scream so i'll let you choose like how many can i make it sound like we have can i literally make it sound like we have like a small army outside i will say you could probably make it sound like you have two to three more people than what you currently have. If you would like to do that. But. It would have to be voices of people that you've heard before. Mm. And it still does have a limited range on how effective it will be. Okay. So it depends um... on where you want to center it. Then I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that action then, and I think okay. I'm gonna end my turn there. Yeah. Yeah. Moving right on down, Revan. You have a crossbow bolt currently stuck in your shield, and you are standing behind a slightly worse for wear Lonan. Um. So, like I had said once. So my, my sword and board would have been out, but I still would have had my sword kind of on the side next to um, Emery to kind of, like, make sure she's close kind of thing. Still, like, relatively 
kind of like half touching her shoulder or her hand, whatever is available, so that I always know where she is. But I'm going to look back at um, I'm going to look at Leos and be like watch her and I'm going to kind of like not like push her back a little bit toward him obviously for sake of this map he can't do that but you get my point it's just like so she's now near him mm -hmm. and I'm going to walk up to a run up to Lonin uh, is he still on the ground? No, he stood up, and he caught that bolt in his side as he stood up. Oh, okay. I thought he was on the ground. Okay, I'm still going to do it. I'm going to run up to Lonin, which is their five feet squares, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pull him out of the cave. So if I have 30 feet... I could get 10 to him, and then it's half movement when you're pulling somebody, right? It doesn't cost you movement, it'll cost you your action. Okay, then I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, walk up to him, or run up to him, grab him, and pull him back uh, to, essentially, uh, Lonan, can you move your character to like, in between me and Z in the back? So like, uh, can I? How do, you, how do you tap? Uh, to the, the diagonally bottom left. I'm gonna pull you that you way. Can, um, with this, you can right click, and you should. If you click off of your character, you can right click and ping. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So yeah, he's there. Um, hold him back, and that'll be my movement and action. All right. And will. Or Lonan, mm -hmm. your character name on your character sheet is still. It's. Anyway, um, you have just experienced an unusual pain. It's the first time you've ever really been hit by something like that. But you are still on your feet. You are still breathing. What would you like to do? Uh, breathing. Um, I will um, well, note. <laughs> I will just note, uh, Revan, when you touch Will, um, very cold. Like, almost painful cold um, when you touch him. And it doesn't feel very sturdy. Like, it feels like paper mache yeah, um, when you pull like him. Like, heat of battle, it would still notice it kind of thing? Yes. Okay. okay. Actually, you'd probably notice heat. it more because you'd probably be warmer, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just thinking more of, like, Revan's way of thinking about it wouldn't even, it's kind of run and grab, pull, doesn't think. But if it's that cold, then yeah, he'd notice. It's, it's like touching an ice cold. pack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you take two damage. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful. That would um, be terrible. <laughs> I'm like Carlock. I'm like, you can't love me because you'll burn. <laughs> um, Frostburn. Yeah, um, I'm just going to... Old Faithful. Uh, Lonan's going to move... Or Yeah, Lonan. That's his real name. Okay, Lonan's going to move there. Um, actually, I'm going to go one more over. I want to take cover behind Z and the cave. Um, and I would like to use my action to... I believe I can do this. I would like to use my action to hide. Yes, yes. you can. I'm going to hide behind Zilithun. All right, make a stealth roll. Sure. Uh, not great, 12. Okay, you crouch down and in the darkness, you feel like you're not as visible as you were before. Sweet, uh, that's gonna be it for me. Okay. And then moving right back up to the top, since you guys can't see what else is going on. Loot. It is up to you now. Um, I'm gonna put my rapier away and pull out my dagger. Okay. Uh, that does take an action to do. Okay. And then I'm just gonna try to keep the uh, Emery behind me, like kind of shielding um, Emery, me and. Um, Revan. Okay. Is that all you're doing? I mean, I would like to throw a dagger, but if it's an action throw, I can't do then. You let me know. Yeah, it's an action. Okay. Then I, I would stay the same. <clears throat> so. Moving right along. I 
one of the bandits, the one that had previously shot Lonan, appears back at the mouth of the tunnel. Kind of looks confused, as if he was wondering why no one else came back in. But, Z, is he in your line of vision from where he's currently standing? Yes, he is. Then you can make your attack roll in your Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. So 23. Ooh. Shit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh. All right. D10. Four damage. Let's go. Okay. Four damage! <laughs> <laughs> so, as you release that same purplish pink smoky blast from your fingertips, it almost ricochets off the wall and then bounces into him. And as it passes through him, it leaves a very visceral burn through his clothes and his skin just starts to kind of cauterize whatever wound that may have created almost immediately. He's still standing, but he does not look great. Okay. And then he is going to continue moving forward. Whoa. Yes, Gianni. Okay. Um, as soon as Emery sees the blast come from him, remembering that blast from earlier, knowing now that it didn't come from the cultist, she loses concentration on the light and stops and just looks over at Z. Not scared. Extremely shocked. Like, what was that? And how did it just happen? And so many questions going through her head. But she's no longer making the light bright. So, uh, this guy is going to keep moving forward. He's going to stop right in front of the torch. And he is just going to let a crossbow bolt fly at... Let the dice decide, why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing to do in the game, isn't it? He is going to take a shot at the small elven girl. Oh, God. Mm. <clears throat> See, Wouldn't me, I already got of... shot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't me and uh, Rev be kind of covering her? Or no? From where you're currently at on the map? No. Oh, okay. And I'm not even looking at the guy. I'm just looking over at Z kind of like, what in that moment? Wait, can I ask a question about Curtis's movement and what he meant? Mm -hmm. What did you mean? Or, like, uh, where like, were I you meant, placing like, us? Um, I thought we were like, cause you you had shoved her behind you a little bit, right, to Leo's, mm -hmm. and then I I since there's a rock in front of me, I would like to just be a little bit in front of her so that she'd be kind of, you know. Cause that was my understanding of what he had said. That's why I was asking. Well, he didn't move on the map, which is why that, were, that was okay. confusing to me. But let me check something now. Then I just didn't know how far I could move on this little rocky thing. <laughs> Still goes for the elephant. <laughs> yeah, he, he just curves the bullet. <laughs> that arrow was right through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do that misunderstanding, I will say that instead he actually does aim for you, Gluteus. Okay. And he rolled a 21 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Fuck. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You take five points of piercing damage as a crossbow bolt comes out of the darkness in the cave and through the light of the torch and just kind of hits you in the arm. Okay. But I can see him a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that is his turn. He doesn't have any movement, so he's just kind of standing there, essentially waiting for death at this point. <laughs> and... Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. And then we move on to Emery. It is now your turn. Um, after seeing Gluteus get hit, she comes back and focuses, like, don't get scared, don't get scared. Um... I'm going to... Oof, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I feel like... Emery would move over... Here. Oh boy. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to... Use Toll of the Dead, which is a range of 60 feet. And needs an attack. Saving throw of wisdom at 11. He fails. Roll damage. 
1d8 of necrotic. That is a four. And with that, with that lovely little cantrip hitting him. Actually, really see... quick. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, was he missing any hit points? Yes, he was. Okay, then that was... The die becomes a d12 if the target is missing instead of a d8. Would you like for me to reroll? He has four hit points and he's already dead. Oh, okay. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to roll the extra damage, you can. Yeah, fuck that guy. No. Yeah. <laughs> I want to kill him more. So, uh, you, dead. You, dead. you step between the two men that were kind of using their bodies to shield you and you kind of extend your arm out in it and green energy starts to wrap around as you extend your hand out. And then that wound that Zelothun had just created that had cauterized immediately begins to fester and rot. And it kind of carves a hole into his chest. And he falls onto his back. Now he is dead. And we move on the down. On the balloons. <laughs> like, Guys, he's sleeping! I mean, dead! Dead! <laughs> And then with that, we move on down to Z. All right. I am. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to hold an attack again. We're all just blessed. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Held action, Eldritch Blast. Got it. Moving on down then. Leos, it is on you. You can't see as far into the cave anymore because Emery is no longer lighting the or keeping the torch brighter, but you can still see the tunnel and you are free to do as you will. Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to stay in the same position, but I am this time going to cast Minor Illusion and create an illusion of one of the Golden Knights that, um, that we've seen prior. And I'm going to put that, uh, how far can I cast this? Uh, I can cast it 30 feet. So, uh, oh, that's dope. I'm, I'm going to cast up. Uh, yeah. I'm going to create like a, I'm going to put the golden knight in that plot right there. And it's an intelligence saving throw, correct? Um, no, it's, ju it's just a, uh, illusion. So it doesn't do anything. Hey kid, am I still pretty? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, that was above the table. Sorry. Just so everybody gets an idea. <laughs> the max I can, like in terms of height, I can make this golden knight. He's a five footer, so he's not in crazy intimidating. <laughs> you know, I'm really just hoping that they see it and they're like, fuck, that guy's decked out. We're not going to fuck with him. That's the so hope. It's a golden dwarf. It's a golden dwarf. I don't know. I don't know. We'll fucking see, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we have that illusion behind the mm -hmm. torch, I'm assuming, like on the map. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, wait, can you see my ruler when I actually... Here? Uh... Yes. Yeah, we saw yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay. So with that... And and if, I, if, I may add, if I may add to it, too, I'm going to have him hold, like, a... It's the sword that's just, like, a massive fucking sword. Like, it's abnormally massive within his, you know, I guess, height. <laughs> that he can have it. So, I mean, if he's holding it down at his waist, you could maybe say it's a three-foot sword. But with it being a five-foot tall illusion... I'm scared of you of a five foot tall man, Brandon. I depends. You don't have to answer out. that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on like, down. That's, that's, that's the pent. <laughs> that's the pent, actually. That was awesome. <laughs> right, and now it is Revan's turn. So, um, seeing that. Hmm. Seeing that Revan's confused, he saw Lonan come out and an arrow fly past him goes straight into his shield and we just killed one of their well we call we killed a man so i don't know but i'm just assuming that there's more because there's always more wherever there's danger there's always more danger uh 
Revan's going to cast Thermagurgen. Uh, what, what do you call it? <laughs> Thermagaga. Thermagaga. <laughs> Uh, yeah. she, called that, she called it that once in a DM, and now it's just living on. <laughs> Thermagaga. What is it? Thermaturgy? Is that how you say it? Thaumaturgy, yeah. Th thaumaturgy. Okay, so Thermagaga. Um, and he's going to boost his voice three times as loud and yell into the cave. Who disturbs my slumber? <laughs> Who disturbs... Um, <laughs> Fucking cable wonders. I am Smaug. <laughs> we are not looking for trouble. We have ten of us out here. We don't know who you are. One of you has already fallen after you shot an arrow at us. We just want to talk. I'm going to need you to make a deception check with disadvantage because your voice cracked. <laughs> it is? Yes. My voice didn't crack. crack. Yes, oh, it did. I... Some bitch. There is 10 of us out here. There's 10 of us out here. And we just want to talk. That's the clip. That's the clip. 120. 120. De de deception, yeah, with disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. There's also a negative one attached to that. But you have Bardic Inspiration, okay. right? No bullshit. That's a 19 and... What is that? That's a 10. So 9. Um, I'm going to add the Bardic Inspiration to that. Okay. It's a D6. D6. Uh, is this also a disadvantage or just uh, it's an addition? No, right? you just roll that. Okay, so 13 total. 13 total? So as you make your voice much louder than it was before and you make this beckoning call toward whatever happens to be inside of the cave still, you hear the sound of running footsteps. But only one set. And although you hear it, it stops at the end of the hallway. So you don't actually see whose footsteps they are. I just wait for any type of response. You don't get anything immediately. I am going to... Well, that was my action, so I can't really move her. I can only step in front of her. I can't shift Emery or anything back. No. You can later. I'm... Can I step in front of her? I mean, since everybody's kind of blocking that, does that work? Emery, step. would you move out of the way at this point if he tried to step past you? Um, did I move my full, like, footing from where I was before? I didn't, did I? No. Would it be okay if I just moved out of the way? Yeah, that's what I was asking you, is would you move out of the way if he were to try to go past you? Um, yeah, I'd move back if he wanted to swap spots. Okay. Lily, I asked this question last week. I asked this question last week and you told us no. So I just want to double check on it because last week I asked if I was in the way because I was in way of the, the church and no one could get through me. So I did change my mind on that initially because I realized okay. it'd be stupid to just be like, oh, this person's a wall now. But that's okay. why I'm asking instead of like, oh, you can move past them. I'm asking the other person if they would move. So like, if you're trying to move past a hostel, it's a no. Excuse me, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you... Hi, can I get past you to kill your friend? Is that listen, you listen, you're kind of in front of a window that I need to crawl through, so. Okay, so we would switch places then. So as I say that, uh, I would just kind of like put, yeah, just like that, kind of put her behind me as I'm stating that and step up so that I can see. I'm going to very timidly move another five feet as I hear those footsteps so that I may be seen potentially if they come around. Because now, is this like what I'm seeing is kind of a straight shot? Like that's what it's meant to be seen as? Yeah, because okay. there's a corner. Yeah. Okay, then that's where I will end my turn. You're really quick above the table, you know, it'd be really funny as if she's like, I did it, I did it, and you just see him pull like the back of her cloak like moving her out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> exactly like that, Justin. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just what I envisioned. <laughs> All right. And now moving on down to Will. Lonan, fuck. If I um, if I look up, is there like a cliff or a ledge above me that I could climb to? I'd say about twenty feet up. There's a like a place where the the rocky wall kind of smooths out into a point where you could, within reason, probably stand. Yeah, I'm very small, so I. Yeah, I would like to do that. I would like to try to climb up to the top of that and just kind of perch like a weird little gargoyle. Okay. Um, I need you to make an athletics check. Gargoyle. Um, eight. You struggle to find any kind of foothold that would allow you to start going up and without any kind of assistance, you make it maybe five feet before you start sliding back down toward the ground. Fine, fuck that. Uh, <laughs> I will... So I'll lose five feet of movement, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then let's do... I'm going to move 15 feet uh, right over here. And I'm going to stand right behind Emery and next to Leos. Um... Yeah, and It'd then be I'll, so easy, be wouldn't it? You just just one downward motion, and then all this. <laughs> It'll all be over, you know. Uh... <laughs> the whole campaign. <laughs> the whole campaign uh, for me, at least. Um, uh, then I will pass. Okay. Right on down. Actually, back on up at this point. To Curtis. You've seen one fall now. You've heard footsteps at the end of the tunnel, but you haven't seen anyone enter. What would you like to do? I would like to move the character right here and still have my dagger ready okay. while I'm still looking down. Um, and then, um, Rev, is there anything in that bag that could help? Are we allowed to respond if asked? It's like a kind of a, if called to action, you can answer, right? How's that work? It's tricky because with combat, everything is technically happening Six simultaneously. Seconds. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say no. Yeah, especially because okay. I'm I'm so literally like yelling turn. at this point. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that and then I'm going to be in that stance and I'm just going to have my dagger ready. And if he does hear it, then uh, when his turn comes up. Okay. Thank if you. question dm if we wanted to use would we be able to if we used our reaction in place of response or no okay got it cool okay moving right back on down we have emery still just a dead guy in a hallway and then <laughs> one set of footsteps that had kind of trampled up and still have not popped into view yet Okay. Um. It is. The torch isn't lit up again, right? Not yet. It is, like, it's burning, but it's not as bright. Okay. Um. Maybe this will. That's all I could really do. I can't do anything else from here. Um. Yeah, I'll just, I'll cast the same thing again after focusing, because I'm excited now that I made a guy dead. Uh, <laughs> I'll focus again and control brightening up the light to help Revan see as I see him move forward. Okay. Torch brightens, and you get an even better view of the horrific wound in the man's chest, but beyond that, you can see a little bit farther in the hallway. And now... I don't know if that helps you at all, but there you go. <laughs> I see. I have dark vision. It just stays about the same. Okay. No. The only difference try. is that you can see in color now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dark vision's black and white? Yeah, it's, it's in shades of gray. Yo, that's sick. I didn't know that. The dog vision. We move on down to Zelothun. 
Um. <laughs> yeah. I think Blast. I'm going to. Like a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Hold my action. Um. <laughs> For a Eldritch Blast, specifically if anybody shoots at us back. If not, then I will let it go. Motherfucker, right, just I holding will. up a Kamehameha, just waiting. Yeah, just <laughs> that's <laughs> all I'm like, <laughs> He's just sitting there the whole time, like, fucking do it, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, He's like uh, I could. <laughs> 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 Bro, Z is like uh, actually like he did for real. Oh, Brigand, he goes like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Every six seconds over our head is just uh? this purple fucking. <laughs> 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 Like a guy just repeatedly reaching have... for his fucking pistol on his hip. Just, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I got you. Almost, okay. almost got you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> ah, this guy. Uh. Oh. <laughs> All right. And now we move on to Leos. Not much has happened in the past few seconds. The guy's fallen dead. You created this very short illusion of a guy that's normally almost seven feet tall and Nick has yelled really, really loud. <laughs> it's, it's, dude, combat is sick. It's, it's the worst <laughs> combat ever. <laughs> dude, how did we get in this situation? Um, uh, okay, so a question. Um, it, so this corpse <laughs> currently is being semi-lit to me um, mm -hmm. by this torch. Um, yes. Do I notice anything about it that is familiar to me or uh, anything at all that might give me an idea as to what we are um, currently fighting? No, it's just a guy in really tattered clothing that's very skinny. And he had a dagger in his hand until it fell to the floor next to him. Nothing that you've seen in your past that you can remember really stands out to you. Okay. Um, for starters, I'm gonna move. Um, I'm gonna move up beside Emery, and then. Oh, actually, wait. Can I do this twice? I don't know. Oh, I can. Okay. Um. I'm actually not going to do anything. I'm just going to yell into the mouth of the cave. Um, and, and I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to ask them... Uh, show yourselves. We are not here to harm you. We do not want this fight. But you need to show yourself now. Make a persuasion or intimidation check. I'll give you the choice. Well, that ain't going to be intimidation. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, it wouldn't matter. I, I didn't even know. Okay. Um, it's an 11. You hear a different set of footsteps, kind of farther back in the cavern. You don't see anything, though. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, um, I am gonna end my turn there. Okay. And with that, we are back up to Revan. <clears throat> Not hearing anything. Revan is going to call out Still loud, not as loud. Um, I'm going to step forward. My shield is up. Sword is down. Just want to have a discussion. And he'll, as he's saying that, just slowly but surely... I guess come up to 
the torch? Can I go to the left of the body, or is the body blocking the... You can step over it. Okay. It's a guy laying dead on the ground. And then... Until... Wait, let me see. How how many feet was that? Uh, it was one... It was here. So one, two, three, four, five. So 25, 30. You can move one more. At the moment if something comes at me i'm going to use my action but it's going to i'm just going to keep my sword down on my side like a non-threatening pose but ready to almost not just keep Are my sword on my there side. no i'm gonna move one more up actually yeah i'm gonna stay there Just um, above the table, because I think we're all thinking this. <laughs> this may be boring, but Loli's fucking damage hits way harder <laughs> than I was expecting. <laughs> so we're all like, who wants to get shot this time? <laughs> That's why I'm so goddamn timid, dude. I, I already died Their once. weapons do the same amount of damage as yours. Oh, yeah. God. I want to run in. Emery just wants to run in and make everything go to sleep. Well, so. <laughs> Emery, Emery has to think oh, for God. herself, because Emery is Emery. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the. Uh, oh wait, I already used my action because. Oh no, because I just talked, but I had the, the thermagaga. It's a concentration already, thing, yes. so it's still active. Okay. okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna hold my action, and it, if anything attacks me, I attack it back. Does that work? If it comes into melee range of you, yes. It's back. All right. Back. <laughs> Dominus. Uh... Arch. <laughs> I mean, one of them had a crossbow, so it's a fair assumption that at least one more might. I think I said it out loud to them, but sword sword is on my side. Did I move too much? Oh, no. Okay, you were measuring yourself. Uh, sword is on my side, but it is still drawn. And okay. that's it. So, Revan. The one that you yelled at that started sprinting toward the hallway steps into vision for you. He's holding a scimitar, though. He's not holding a crossbow. And he does have it drawn, but he's clearly uneasy. As am I. Until he looks behind you and sees the, the body of one of his friends on the floor. So he's going to step towards you, and as he moves, since you are holding an action, you can make an attack roll against him. <laughs> I also no let mine as well. Oh yeah. He that's... hasn't made an attack roll yet. Oh. He hasn't okay. done anything. He's just stepped toward him. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So uneasy, but not. He's not coming at me. He just stepped up. He's got his sword out, but if you are holding an action, depending on how you want to do it, because if he makes the attack roll first, he's going to hit you before you get to hit him. So if you're I'll waiting wait. for an attack, you have I'll to wait, wait your turn. I'll wait for an attack. But as he it's walks 21 up, to hit. Oh. Okay, so he goes for oh, it. Man. That definitely hits. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Bro's got cheat codes on. Okay. So he... <laughs> Why? This man <laughs> stops in the hallway about 10 feet away from you, uneasy, holding a scimitar, looking at you in the dim lighting. And he looks like he's going to relax, but he catches a like a glimpse, like just past you, of one of his comrades dead on the floor. And there's like a renewed confidence, and he runs up and he takes a swipe at you, and he just grazes you across the arm, and you can feel the sting, but then your body surges with adrenaline, and you no longer feel that pain, and you may now make your attack in reaction. And then Bryce, as soon as he is done with his, you can make yours. How much damage was that attack? You take three. Okay. Three points of slashing damage. Oh boy. Okay. Um. So for my attack, right as he hits me, I just Revan just grunts in pain, almost like immediately sighs and just swings right back. Um. That is a natural twenty. I'm not even fucking around. Oh my yeah! god. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. So. 2D. Roll double the, the dice for damage. Okay. 
So D8 plus 5. Uh, that is a 6. That is a 1. So 7, so 12. Okay. So he had swiped at your arm and you kind of recalled from that, but you used that recoil to kind of bounce back and take a swipe at him. And you cut him from the side of his neck all the way down to the uh, to his hip. Oh. <gasps> and he falls to the floor like his comrade. Well, oh, fuck. At, um, at that moment, does Z's blast go over my head? Z hits you square in the back of the head. Yeah, yeah. 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 On top of that guy. Done, <laughs> <laughs> I saw movement. Bang! How does that, how does that work though? Because like obviously my reaction, but Z had his locked and loaded. Mm -hmm. He, I mean, the guy's dead before he has the chance to react. Okay. Cool. Um, he swipes at you. You swipe at him. He falls to the ground. Okay. You, you can make a blast at the corpse if you'd like. If it would make you feel better, but I'm assuming. <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> um. And I can't, now, like, as a bonus yeah. action, call out or anything. Can I say anything? Because it's not technically my turn. You, you can say something if you would like. Uh, I just want to warn everyone, like... Okay, that didn't work! Um, help? I don't know. That's it. That's it. Um, and then, question. If I, if I see that happen, he kills him. Can I continue to hold my action for an Elder Spots for another person to come around the corner? Mm -hmm. Or okay, you haven't used it. Yet. You're still holding that action. Yeah, I was just. Your hands I was getting more and more cause... shaky as you continue holding this. <laughs> so I mean, the fucking yeah. purple energy is starting to come out very slowly. So it looks like you're holding a fucking pink popsicle out of your hand. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're trying. Just... Yeah, it's uh, it's something. <laughs> Right. The camera pans to Zebra <laughs> Exactly. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. His whole body is shaking. Yeah. You can hear like the cartoon like bones fucking <laughs> just rattling. You know how when babies get mad they hold their breath and they start shaking? That's literally Zebra <laughs> Every time it pans back there's just like sweat. And then the next time it pans back there's like a vein popping out of his head. It just keeps getting worse. The gif of the guy just pouring sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Every time the camera pans over, he's drawn slightly worse, too. <laughs> like those in-detail Spongebobs. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, now, with that guy dead on the floor, Will, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna hear the help. Um, and I'm gonna drop my little body forward 30 feet right up next to this first dead body. Um, oh. Hold on, I did that wrong. Oh, you know, I did that right. Okay, um, and... What am I gonna do? Um, how do I wanna do this? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to figure out how to kill Revan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna use... Oops. Can I do this? I can do this, I believe. I'm gonna use my action. I'm gonna hold, uh... I'm actually going to hold the help action uh, to help Revan. So I'm just going to keep an eye out for anybody who's coming at Revan and just warn like him. nervously to... reaching out toward him? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and I'm just going to help Revan look for anybody who's coming at him. So if I see anybody enter my field of view, I will shout it towards Revan and let him know. Okay, so the only thing that comes in your field of view is Revan actually stabbing his sword through his own chest to hit you. <laughs> and then I clap. <laughs> we both die. Yay, we're both free. <laughs> okay. So, moving right along, we are back up to Gluteus. Now two of your companions have wandered into the opening to this cave. And you can kind of see that Revan has killed another man. And you did hear another set of footsteps, so there is at least one more. I'll uh, turn to Emmy real quick and say, Stay behind. Stay with Leos. This is this is not your fight. And I'll move forward to right here. Actually, uh, to the right of it, right here. That way me and Z are kind of looking at both sides. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Uh, just keep my daggers out, the action. That's about it. Okay. 
And we shall move down to Emery. It is your go. And I can't squeeze by them, can I? Because we don't. You can. I can. You're small. <laughs> you are small. You be tiny. Oh, this might be a mistake. <laughs> you can dash, by the way, to double your movement, but that would be your action. Fuck. Um. I'm going to go beside the first dead guy. I'm not going to dash, though. Oh, let me grab. Yes, She's just thank poking you. him. <laughs> Hello? Did I gain inspiration from saying, seeing the dead dude? <laughs> <laughs> I see dead people. Doesn't listen. I love it. <laughs> Stay yeah, here. No, you'll be doesn't... safe. And she just immediately books past him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, just running as fast as they can. Oh, Actually, with all of this me. occurring in the same, like, six seconds, she would be running past you as you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Um, I got a question above the table. I can barely see the corner of the person. Does that still, like, can I still hit them with something or no? Because, like, it, they're square, I can see part of it. It depends. What are you trying to use? Told the dead. It's 60 feet. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw of 11. Roll to 14. Mm. Fuck. Okay. Mm. So I guess that's it. Okay. It's a full 30, so I can't move anywhere. I'm just like... Grab it. <laughs> All right. And now we move to Z. This man has been trembling for the past 18 seconds, but has not done anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't really do anything right now. Um, I'm going to... Based off of how loud Revan was, your your voice got projected. In you heard you heard the help. The, yeah, I'm talking about when you did the thaumaturgy thing. Right? Yeah, it was three times as loud as his normal voice. And that's everywhere, and it's it's not. It wasn't like direct. Shit, no, no, it's right? like it just boosts my voice. So like it, it's everywhere. Okay. Even the forest behind us heard me. Um, I'm gonna stay Jerry outside produced. and look. But yeah. I'm going to look behind us to see if there's anyone coming up behind in the forest or anything out okay. there. Make a perception check. Okay. 20. Dirty 20. So when you first look, you don't really see anything. But... You take the time to actually really focus since you think that in the you know the group in the hallway has kind of got it covered. And you see a bandit oh. next to this tree. Oh. And then another one that had been kind of creeping along the wall here. <laughs> okay. No. Um, does that perception check take my action? No. You are just looking. Okay. Respectfully. Mm hmm Um I'm I'm gonna say they're out here too and then turn and look at I'm gonna shoot at this guy. Okay. Here. With an Elder Blast. One trick pony, baby. Let's do it. Hell yeah, brother. Mm. Mm, that's a whole eight. Let's go. Oh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> You've been holding that one in for so long that uh -huh. when it finally flies, you can't even really direct it anymore. You were just charging it. Okay. So as you take the yeah. shot at him, you actually clear some of the bark off the side of that tree that he's standing beside, but you miss him. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I'm going to... Over to here. 25 feet. Um, again. <laughs> You're leaving and, fucking Gluteus to die. Well, you know, listen. Um, I don't know these people that well. <laughs> and that's... Valid. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically. Um, and that'll be my turn. 
I can't do Bye, anything. guys. Right. I just want to state the only reason I'm laughing as hard as I am is because I keep hearing Z in my head say, Oh, Lord, I'm about to bust. <laughs> it's the old man <laughs> right before he farted. <laughs> so, Emery. That guy felt what you were trying to do to him. But he was able to fight it off in his head. Okay. Now he wants to know how well you can fight off a crossbow bolt. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. That's an 11. So he still kind of shaken by whatever was going on in his head. He lets it fly and it just kind of slinks against the rock to your left and then falls to him. And then he just spends the rest of his turn just reloading the crossbow. So, now we move down to Leos. Um, do, I don't. Do I? Wait, Z. Oh, Z said out here. So I already. Okay, never mind. So you I know, know they're there, but you can't okay. see them. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm confused about, actually. Actually. Because, yeah, I can. On my map, I can see one well, of them. I can't see the second one that's against the wall. I have an idea for you, actually. Ah. Hate, that. <laughs> Hate that for me. <laughs> no, because I think I know his idea. But I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. behind him as he says it, too. <laughs> yeah, did right? me doing what I just did change anything for you, Brandon? Um... It, I mean, it, it did, yeah. Yeah, so since your arcane focus is a lantern, you have 30 feet of bright light around mm. you. Ooh, oh, cool. Still, you think, think, think. Makes sense. I still don't see another guy, but I do see one. So, uh, okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, so <laughs> I imagine, too, that, that like Leos looks back and Z just, is, <laughs> just is running by him across. So oh, purple dash. Yeah. Um, no, you don't even okay. see him. You just feel like a gust of wind. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up. <laughs> I'm just going to imagine Gluteus is looking in the cave, and I'm going to army a two style <laughs> back to back right here. And I'm going to fire at, um, I, I forgot how to ping already, um, right, but I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to fire at this guy anyway. Okay. That works. Yeah, and I'm going to do, let me see what I'm going to do actually. Me holding my action, could I do mine after? What are you doing? I'm holding my daggers, can I throw mine? Were you facing in toward the cave? Um, yeah. But I mean, I thought, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Then I will let you do it after he does his attack roll. Okay. Because um, him, like, bumping against you and then casting something behind you would be... Yeah. I was just wondering, because if I saw Z throw his blast, that's all, as well. I'm going to do, I'm going to do chill touch on that target. Um, so. Sore. Oh, fuck. Um, that's a, that's a 10 to hit. Oh, nope. So you extend your, your hand out as you're holding your lantern. And you like push it toward him and this burst of very like bright green energy pulses out from it and you see like a necrotic hand swipe at the guy that you are looking at but it misses um i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna end my turn there i think yeah. All right. Since you have ended your turn, Gluteus, if you would like to go ahead and make an attack roll on either one of the two that you can see, just throw your dagger. Above the table. Don't forget your inspiration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I forgot I had one. Mm -hmm. Same. Um, uh, nineteen. Bad hits. Go ahead and roll damage for the throw. I forgot to select which one. Of this one. The one that he uh just did. And is for attack, that one is the one that says damn. Okay. I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna use my inspiration on that one. You cannot use inspiration for damage. On damage. Okay. Then uh four. Okay. So as you sling this dagger at him, you can see that it kind of sinks directly into his upper thigh and just kind of sticks there. And while he definitely looks pissed off by the fact that there is now a knife sticking out of his leg where a knife did not used to be, <laughs> he's still standing. And then that brings us to Lonin. It is your turn. I'm sorry. No, it is Revan's turn. Oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I saw Emery dodge that bolt, and then yeah, I saw all that. Um, as I see that, Purely out of making sure that she is protected at all costs, Revan is going to step over this body. Um, so that's 10 feet, right? Because it's over the body to the next square. Okay. Uh, diagonally, is that five? Or do I have to go mm -hmm. up? Le okay. So here, and he's going to make an attack on this guy. Um, let's see. Do this guy. 30, 20. Oh, nice. nice. Roll damage. And then... Sure. That is seven damage. Okay. So you run up to this guy that had just loosed a crossbow bolt at Emery, and as you take a swing at him, again, same sort of movement. You cut him from neck to waist, but you feel like your sword didn't go quite as deep as it did the last time. So he is... Certainly worse for wear, but he is still standing, still holding his crossbow. Okay. Um, I think that's all I can do for now. So, yeah, uh, that ends my turn. Um, okay. Question. From this point of view, can Emery see him? If I'm in that... In the way of that? Yeah. So I can could see, see him before, you. yeah. Cool. And now we move on to Lona. Okay. Um, I'm going to hear the sounds of battle, Um, and I'm going to move. Behold the dogs of war. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move here. Uh, no, I'll move up here. Oh, yeah, wonderful. That's 30 feet. Um... Sorry, I'm just seeing what I can see. Uh, yeah, cool, dope, great. I want to throw a dagger at him. Okay, make an attack roll. Let's see if I can. Give me a... Sure. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Roll damage. I can't get it. Uh, it's gonna be uh four damage. So you flick your wrist in a familiar motion and you let the dagger fly out of your grasp. It spins in the air as it flies toward him and it sinks directly into his heart. And he falls backward, dead on the floor. I will... Um... I will just uh, stand up right afterwards and I'll just say, I'm really good at this. That's all. <laughs> Specifically to Revan. That is the only time that Revan has let out, not not let out. I don't even know technically if you would see it, but the smallest smirk. Like he doesn't want to, but it got him. He doesn't do any of this because it's not his turn. <laughs> I don't know if like we're allowed to because it's a response if it's toward me. No, I'm, it, no, you're fine. I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, I'm not gonna see it though because uh, okay. I'm not. I'm looking at the thing. But yes, but but the, um, I'm not gonna see it because I'm very focused on not dying at the moment. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> and now... uh, that'll end my turn. I'm gonna movement and everything. So okay. And now, good old fashioned, this guy is gonna wander over <laughs> yonder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Good old-fashioned, mm -hmm. this guy. It's my favorite guy. 
And he is going to take a crossbow shot at Gluteus. Oh, I can't see anything outside the cave anymore. <laughs> That's okay. I just saw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> From my... Here, I'll just... He's 13. Oh, yeah. Roll to 14. Okay, so he lets a crossbow bolt fly at you, Gluteus, and you are going to take four points of piercing damage as he lets that bolt fly and it just kind of hits you almost like in the shoulder. It doesn't go in very far, but it, you now currently have a crossbow bolt sticking out of your shoulder. Oh, that would be... Other than re reloading his crossbow, that would be the end of his turn. So that actually brings us back up to you, Curtis. Um, I'm going to try to get in the cave as far as I can get past M. So you can stand over the dead guy if you want. Okay. Uh... Well, let us put character over character. It should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, cool. hey. Can I can I say something real fast? Hey, uh, there's, there's one guy out there. I don't know. Or there's two guys out there, I mean. And I'm just basically fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, now... Uh, we are going to move to this lovely fellow here who is going to very carelessly step over the corpse of his friend and he's oh. going to make an attack roll at you, Revan. Oh. <laughs> miss. Tank shit, tank shit, tank 27. shit. 27. That is, that is a miss. He rolled a five, so he takes oh, a swipe at you. And, oh. But as he's swinging, he kind of trips over the corpse of his friend and he just kind of hits air. And he slides right onto my sword. Slowly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then now we move down to Emery. You have one guy in front of you that you can see, but you've also been made aware that there are two more behind you that you cannot. Oh, so I, I do hear them though, or no? You heard Gluteus say it. Okay. Um. Knowing that everyone in here can probably handle themselves, Emery moves back towards... Leos being 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Since I can see him here, could I hit here? Yeah. If it's a spell or an attack with range. Okay. I look immediately at Leos and then I look over to my right and see the enemy and I'm going to He's too close. I don't want to do that. I'm going to toll the dead again on that guy. I was going to try to scare him, but I don't think that would be smart right now. What's the DC? Uh, 11. He failed. Roll damage. Beat. Uh, does he have any missing hit points or no? No. Okay. Roll high. A six. Surely ain't bad. Okay, so you look toward Leos and you see that he is kind of out here on his own because you can't actually see Zelithun around this corner. And you immediately turn and you extend your arm out toward this guy and that green energy pulses out from your hand again. And a wound that the man he had forgotten he even had again opens and just starts to rot on his arm. Okay. Anything else you want to do? Any bonus actions? Or are you done? Mm. Can I touch Leos from here? Yeah. Oh, no, that doesn't count as a bonus action. Never mind. I read that wrong. And I'm too small to pull him at all, right? That would be your action. Okay, then, yeah, no, I, I stay here. Okay. That brings us to Zelithun. Um, 
I'm going to... Eldritch Blast. Uh... <laughs> what? Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Eldritch Blast this guy right here. The one okay. next to the tree. Fifteen. Bad hits, roll damage. Let's go. Okay. Five damage. Force damage. All right. So you throw out your arm and you let out that pink blast of energy, this time feeling a little bit more confident than you did the first time that you haven't been holding it for so long. <laughs> and as you let it out, it collides into his arm, burn once again burning a hole through his tattered clothing and then immediately cauterizing the wound. And is there anything else you would like to do? Mm. Uh, no. That'll be it for right now. All right. Mm -hmm. And we shall move right on down. So let's see what we can do here. White. White. Okay. So guy that you just shot I'm going to walk up to Leos since he can't quite reach you. He is going to make a attack with his scimitar. That is a 17 to hit. Well, you already know the answer. <laughs> no. <laughs> you take four points of slashing damage as he immediately draws a scimitar and makes a quick slash at your left arm. Glad you drank a potion. Glad you drank a potion. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I need a potion. I need a potion. <laughs> potion me, potion me. Gladius running to the mouth of the cave. I need a potion. Need Rev, a potion. why'd you leave me? You had the fucking bag, Rev. <laughs> right, you can disperse the potion's help. <laughs> that will be the end of his turn. So, Leos, it is actually your go now. Man. Um, <laughs> so... Leos Hudson? <laughs> <laughs> we can do better. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot going on. At first, I see I see Emery, and I'm like, holy shit. And then this guy runs up to me, fucking slashes me. I'm like, holy shit. Um, and now I'm fucking pissed. So, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast magic missile, uh, and I'm able to split the yes. targets. So of this? Okay. you can target multiple people with it. It's just that those dots, essentially, they don't miss. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to do two on the guy uh, it, directly in front of me. I'll do two to him, and then I will do one to the other guy out here. Um, so that is going to be a 1d4 plus one on every missile. So, all right. Save my ass. Okay, so I will I will start with the, the two on um, the guy right by me. Okay. So first, uh, that's, that's two. And then that's three so five to him and then he is on... not doing great i will tell you that much okay i'm happy to hear it fucking bitch <laughs> um and so oh here we go and then i do a five to the other guy the other guy is not looking much better so you again hold your lantern up and it starts to glow with this actually green energy now as you start to like form these missiles inside of it and the little door on the front of it opens up as these three different bursts of arcane energy come out. And the two that hit the first guy, one hits him square in the chest, the next one hits him in the shoulder. And then for the other guy, he just kind of gets hit in the jaw with that burst of energy. And there's a blackened spot where each of those had landed. They're both still standing, but they've both certainly looked better, especially in the past minute or so. Is there anything oh. else you would like to do on your turn? Um, n no, um, I think that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well then in that case, we move on down to Revan. 
the guy in front of you that has recently missed an attack. And just gonna give one right back with no hesitation whatsoever. And rolling different dice every time, so I don't seem like a hack. Uh, oh, let me see. please hack. <laughs> okay. That is a 21. Two hits. And then... So be kind of fucked if I gave you something that wouldn't hit on a 20. Yeah, he's one. like, no, no, this is actually. I'm still gonna wait. I mean, Not could... even close. <laughs> <laughs> but just like that confidence, just like. Not even close. <laughs> like, what are we fighting? <laughs> I'll be honest, that mic sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it does sound really good. Yeah, does. Um, 10. Yeah, I didn't damage. peak when I did that. It was great. 10? Yeah, yeah 10 damage. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus five. That, that, <laughs> that sword, dude. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, the DMs guys do too much damage. Fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> I died. You know, it was kind of scary. <laughs> you deserved it. Okay. No. So, um, this guy has just missed you, and in retaliation, you even like move your shield hand underneath to support it, and you just drive the point of your sword directly through him. And it's not until you start to pull it back that the body slumps and falls over. Mm. <laughs> um, and then... Revan will very lightly, under his breath, say... Me too. And then he's going to move into check. Make a perception check. Yes, sir. Uh, for Steve Sean. That is a 12. A 12. I am 12. Yeah. So as you look across this room, you can actually see the back wall now. So inside the room, there are these four bedrolls that were kind of spaced around this previously lit campfire, which one of them had actually stopped to light just for some additional vision while, or after they had heard some scuffling outside. And then on the far side of the room, there is a table with benches on both sides of it. And then off to your left, there's an opening that you can't see into that kind of goes back. But I don't see any other... No. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I don't know, like, does speaking do anything in terms of, like, uh, turns or anything like that? What do you mean? Like, do you have to bonus bonus action to say something, or can you just no. kind of... Oh, in your turn, you can just speak. Mm -hmm. Say the me, me too toward his comment about being good at it. Uh, run up, see that, and then kind of yell down the hall, or down the, the cave entrance to make sure that whoever's in there can hear and kind of... Tell the others there's no more in here. That's it. Oh. Okay. Can I move back to... Because I, I moved... What is that a total of? Uh, from where I am. That was here, so 15. Can I move pretty much back to where I was? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll do that then. Unfortunately, it is chess rules, though, so if you do that 50 more times, it's a stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it funny from where I'm standing, that's why I sent the screenshot in the Discord, that I was able to technically, through the cave, somehow see those two enemies outside. It's just a ridiculous look, but that's it. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. Right. Not you, just the map. No, no, no. It's just a weird, like, there's some quirks to it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and now, Lonan. You have watched yet another one fall to the blade. And now you are currently not alone. You are standing next to Revan still. And you can see Gluteus in the hallway with the crossbow bolt sticking out of his shoulder. But there's nobody in your immediate view. That... Um, the immediate thinking. Um... I'm going to move back. I don't see Leos, so I'm going to move back. Mm -hmm. 25, 30, back over here. Um, <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna double dash. I'm gonna use my action to dash. Um, Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart. He's got a shell on his animal. Who the fuck did get that? <laughs> he's like, that is really. He drops a banana peel as he's running away. <laughs> fuck you, Revan. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Revan runs yeah. out and you see him spin in a circle. <laughs> Just going, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I go outside, Leos is in a Princess Peach dress. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. Shit's been going on. Hey, what happened? <laughs> um, I'm gonna move 25 feet and I'm gonna end up uh, right here. Um, and that's that's all I can do. I just have a dagger out. There, taking up space. Okay. I'll pass. So, uh, with you passing your turn, that actually leaves it to the guy that you conveniently just ran up to. So he right. is going to take a quick swipe at you with his blade. And that does not hit. He takes a swipe at you, but he is just not feeling it at all. Like what he was just hit with really took it out of him so he swipes and it doesn't even come close great and then with that we move up to gluteus so he's losing his mind in a hallway as he is <laughs> oh, i am staying strictly where all the dead guys are and <laughs> i am gonna voice to revan anything in that bag healing anything and i will lay down with the dead bodies <laughs> acting like I'm dead. I have a question and, for you, Curtis. Do you lay on your on your stomach or on your back? Hell, I, what, whatever the 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 arch thing is going, I'm just kind of like I'm kind of like resting against the wall, really, kind of like in between both of them, so <laughs> somebody can still step through me. So you're you playing know? dead? Hell yeah! Make a performance check. <laughs> oh, yes. oh hell yeah, that's great. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to not play dead in this situation. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my inspiration real quick. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to cry. Uh, Revan can see this. Nope. All right. Uh, whatever. It's a six and eight. So I don't know which one you want to choose. So. <laughs> dude. Okay. Okay. So. Gluteus, you were like leaning there. against a wall before and just kind of panting. And then eventually <laughs> you like you get this idea in your head of like, okay, I this really, really, really fucking hurts, and I don't want it to happen again. So you kind of like dramatically slump down against the wall and you like kind of stick your tongue out of your mouth and like roll your eyes back, but you're still breathing really heavy. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not quite convincing. Alright. I'm just a bard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm geez. just a bard and life is a nightmare. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, literally, oh, I, really? yeah. <laughs> Rev. <laughs> Help me. Oh my god. <laughs> no That's actually an incredible Rev, song to, to hear so him funny. singing. I'm just a bard. Uh. <laughs> Holy I'm shit. Down the hallway. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying so desperately. <laughs> so, Emery, it is now your turn. There are still two alive in front of you, and you can hear the very pained gasps of a bard behind you. <laughs> um, I'm going to move forward one going like this. And I'm going to attack the one that is right by Leos. Okay. Make it Yelling. Attack no, but I'm going to do um, chain, sl chain slash. Okay. Ooh. By dropping and just. And that is a 16. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, it's four slashing damage. Okay. So. With the fact that you had been kind of playing it with it, with it before, you were at least more familiar with it than you would have been if you just dropped it and merely tried to use it just cold turkey. So, um, you kind of unfurl it with your hand as you had been gripping it, and the, the sickle itself drops to your side and kind of hits the ground by your foot. And then you flick your wrist almost like using a whip, and the, uh, the blade arcs outward. 
and just kind of embeds in the side of the man that had been attacking Leos until he starts to slump and the blade slides back out and falls to the ground beside him. And he is dead. As he dies, could I have pulled him down as it falls out? Yeah. If you want to, like, just kind of have it get, like, sunk into his shoulder or something and yank him down to the ground. Right, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he falls, and we'll say he just kind of fell here between you and and Lonan. And Ember is extremely happy right now. (laughs) And that brings us to Zelithun. Okay. It's a um, bit of a struggle where you're currently at, but you can kind of get an angle on the guy that's left. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is... Um, I'm going to... Right here to get an actual angle on him. And then I'm gonna shoot an Eldritch Blast. Let's go. 11. That actually misses. So, <clears throat> again, shooting your arm out and letting a, another like bolt of that pink and purple arcane energy fly. It's very close. It would almost shave some of his hair off, but it goes off to the left side of his head. Uh, that's all I got. All right, and that brings us to Leos. You see the one that was next to you previously has now been dragged down to the ground by Emery with the the chain blade that she is carrying. And now the only one that is left is next to Lonan. Um... (laughs) <laughs> uh, seeing this happen in front of him is actually uh, incredibly shocking as he's just seen a, uh, a little girl butcher a man um, yeah. and this is uh, uh, very intense um, yeah, you know that scene from The Last of Us in the diner with uh, with David where she's just fucking hacking yeah. out of a machete <laughs> that's what she's doing right now yeah. oh yeah uh, and I see that she's happy and I'm just like <laughs> uh, uh, there's even blood splattering on my face <laughs> this body. yeah I need you to make a constitution saving throw <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, God. God. he uh, poofs you're like spitting it out you're like I'm gonna take my turn puking on the side of this um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut <laughs> um Okay, well, uh, uh, question for you. I'm, I'm going to make an attack on this guy, but I am curious if um, uh, if Emery is obviously, like, short enough, can I cast something just directly over yeah. her head? Okay. Um, I'm going to do... I'm just going to do a chill touch. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a chill touch on that guy. Sure. Let it fly, Captain. All right. Um, that's a 17 to hit. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. Let him cook. Hopefully. Uh, it's a three. How do you want to do this, Leos? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, at first I see Emery hacking away at this guy, um, but I remember she is immediately in danger so i do like this uh i do like this anime snap up like i look to this uh to the guy in front and um i i create these hands that that come from the ground and they're gonna grab um each and every one of his limbs and they're just gonna fucking rip them from his body (laughs) and he's gonna fall to the ground hell yeah Damn. <laughs> that was cool. You're gonna need a strength fatality, all right. <laughs> gonna need a strength right. roll on that one. <laughs> yeah, so these hands come up from the ground beneath him as his very already very weakened form. He doesn't really have the energy left to fight it. 
So one, uh, two hands grab him by the thighs, and then another two grab him by the wrists. And at first, they just kind of hold him steady there. But then you can see strain on his face, and he just gets pulled apart like a Barbie doll. And you hear sickening pops and crunches as each socket gets ripped open, and, and the arms and legs are removed from his torso. And his head hits the ground um, before his arms do, because of the weight of his torso, it just kind of flips him down, and he just collapses into a mess. <laughs> Dang. Well Jesus. said. Quick question. <laughs> just because of the map. I have a line of sight, technically. <laughs> do, do I see this? <laughs> Sure, yeah, you, you mm -hmm. Oh good lord. Yeah. Okay, that was it. I'm screaming over your vision. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling so loud that you can't see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're driving at night, you're like, I gotta turn down the volume when I gotta pour it. <laughs> I just wrote in the notes, I was not even fucking like thinking. I literally wrote the notes Leo skits play of the game. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not what I want. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, this music right after that death. I know, right? There's blood gushing in my face still. I just want to say that took an hour and a half. Yes, yeah. 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 So. Um, oh, by the way, um, sorry, 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 sorry. With the last one falling to the ground, you don't hear any more footsteps. Cave seems to have been cleared out. And all of you can kind of breathe this sigh of relief, with the exception of Gluteus, who is still gasping dramatically, even though the fight is over. It's like, oh god, I'm gonna die. Revan will... Hold on. Oh. We're gonna leave it there. It's been two and a half hours. Do we need to take a break? the last of that small group from inside of the cave and some from even outside of it fallen the cave is now yours if you'd like to use it as a respite for the night rather than sleeping somewhere in the open road or perhaps finding some random clearing it would offer a bit more protection from the elements than seemingly anything at this point besides maybe a tree since you don't have the supplies to make a tent but Gluteus now pretending to be dead still in the hallway and the rest of you in various states of okay to okay this kind of hurts you kind of now have that moment to breathe so we shall go in order here leos and zelothun and emery or not yeah no leos zelothun emery and lonan are all outside is there anything that the four of you would like to do um uh. as as the last person falls and Emery is excited to all the blood that Leos is creating and the death and the destruction. I am going to walk right past Emery and I'm going to tell her death is not something we should be happy for. So these don't wake up. No. And just to clarify, she was excited she killed the one that was attacking Leos. But when she looks over at what Leos did, she's kind of confused, like, wait, how did he do that? And wondering, like, just wondering how everything happened. Um, 
she's like, I guess this is where we're, we're sad. Are we supposed to be sad if they were evil? We're not sad. We're respectful. She takes her sickle out of him slowly and just sits there kind of like on her knees looking at the body she killed. And under her breath, if no one, I don't know if he'll be able to hear or not, just whispers, I'm sorry, to the body, wondering if that's showing respect. Lonan, make a perception check. <laughs> nah, it's a five. That's between you and whatever gods happen to be listening at the moment. Just remember... This person belonged to somebody once. And she remembers who she belonged to that morning. And she gets up, nods at Lonin, and just starts to walk towards the cave. I'll go to Leos. I'll watch her leave for a moment, and then I'll go to Leos and check on him. Can't seem to stay out of the thick of the fights. Lonan, that, that little girl did not fight like a little girl. Something, something is very strange with her. I agree. I, um, have had suspicions for a while that we're not exactly dealing with a child. There's, children don't have that much magic in them, I don't think, to she just was... be able to disappear. She was excited about about the the killing. I think she was very she hasn't quite had the life that you and I have had, Leos. I think people took too good a care of her. Lonan keep a close eye on her she could she could really be in danger of hurting herself and you're the only one I can trust it's not the one I'm worried about who are you worried about he came into town with three people who disappeared without a trace Revan, Revan has, has done better than most. I, I don't understand why you're so worried. I think, um, My eyes look at your staff very quickly and then go back to you. I think somebody who does that much work to make sure you're protected is the person who's going to kill you first. Remember, I could be absolved in a moment if I just took you in. My paper would burn away but instead I'm protecting you. Why is he protecting you too? He is, he is protecting Emery. Listen, I, I originally did not want him on this journey, but if Jaren's wish is for him to protect Emery, then he stays. And if that means sacrifice, then it must be done. Something's off. Something is... Look, the bard, the bard is the bard. He tells us what he is and who he is and what he's doing and where he's going. And the bard asks questions and he wants to know. The other one is asking questions and, and learning about us. 
Revan won't even look at me. He won't ask questions, but he makes assumptions. But he still follows us into battle. He still trusts us with a child, not child. Let me, let me speak to Revan. I think, I think you should talk to Emery. See if she'll tell you anything that stands out. And, and we'll, we'll see if we can unbury the secrets. I think it's time I talk to Revan. As you wish. I don't... Something is wrong. I, I just... I don't know. I don't trust it. And I think we would be wise to spend less time focusing on the child who has been upfront and honest with everything that they can and cannot do. And more paying attention to the tiefling who gets mad in secret and hides his emotions until he's provoked. Um, Leos is gonna gonna look into the cave. We should we should go in. It's it's late. And he's yeah. gonna start walking in the cave. Zilithar, I'm going oh. where are you? I am currently Are you still outside? Yeah, I'm still outside. Yeah. Okay. Make a perception um... check and then Justin, what were you doing? Um I'm just going to stop while Zilithun is there, because I honestly would not have even paid attention to look and see if Zilithun was there, even if he was standing right there. Um, but I'm just going to stop, and I'm going to pull out the card that Leos gave me. And I'm going to look at it for okay. a moment. So, Z? Uh, I rolled an yeah. 18. Um, you heard all of that, whether you choose to acknowledge it or not. Okay. Do you have the picture of the card already that, that Brandon made for you? No. Yes. And you're just looking at it? I'm just looking at it, and then I'll head back in. Okay. Z, you are still outside, and now you are the only one. Yes. Um, do I recognize their garments or anything on them at all? There's nothing even remotely uniform about the clothes they're wearing. It looks like tattered, like torn clothing that has been roughly sewn back together in order to maintain some level of both dignity and also protection from the elements. There's nothing special about it. Okay. Um, and then I will... I'll take a minute to mourn the people's lives that we just took. And then I will start walking back towards the cave and take a minute look out one more time just to see if there's any stragglers or anything like that um and then i'll go inside okay so now as these four that were previously outside start to make their way into the cavern gluteus you are in quite a lot of pain at the moment you still have a crossbow bolt that is sticking out of your shoulder that you haven't removed yet. And you've kind of sequestered yourself to the floor of this small tunnel. And you now get the sense that since the rest of the group is walking up, you can stop admittedly poorly pretending to be dead. What would you like to do? <laughs> Any help over here, guys? I'm not in great shape. <laughs> Leos, <laughs> Leos is going to run over and kneel by him. And as he speaks, he coughs, and there's a bit of blood that kind of spews out and sprays the other wall in front of him. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop. Uh, Le uh, Lonan will stop and literally do nothing but observe, but I will stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need a little help up. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to help Gluteus up. Can I Can I call to Revan for another potion or or no? He's another person in the group. You can call to him. 
Okay. Um, then I'm gonna I'm gonna call Revan and um, ask him for a potion. Let's get him inside first. Um, there's some beds that we can rest on. We have our own stuff as well. Uh, let's just get over there and check out what we need to do. And I will help carry <laughs> glute in the other arm. Okay. So, as you make your way through the tunnel and into this opening, like I said before, it's a fairly large opening. There is in one not quite corner, but in the space, there's four already laid out bedrolls surrounding a fire that has recently been relit. Beside that, there is a long table. It's about, I'd say about eight feet long, and it's got benches on both sides that it can be rested on. And then from the entrance directly to the left and then behind, so on that back wall that the entrance leads out of, there is another opening that you guys haven't looked into yet. Uh, let's put him here and take him and put him on top of the table. E easy, big guy. Easy, big guy. I didn't throw you. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I'm um, not a warrior. Put my hand on his shoulder and ask, do you need a potion or do you want to rest? Because we can, we can rest. I think you might be okay in the morning. I can give you a potion if you want to use one, but I'm pretty sure we're in the clear for right now. Your I choice. Something. Um, just, just leave me here, and I'll I'll call you over. I, I should be okay. Anyone else? Hmm. I'm going to take one of those potions. Reach in the bag and give him a potion. I'll uh, take one too. Lesser. If Leo's, if Leo's will take one, I will take one. I'm sorry, Nick. Okay. No, you're fine. And give one to Lonan. I will look back at Glute. Are we leaving the arrow in his... I'm... I'm going to get to that. <laughs> okay. I was just making sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glute. I think I'm take, gonna need one. Take this, and I'll hand him one as well. <laughs> um, do me a favor, pop it open, and as he I'll pops it. it open and he starts to drink it, right when I see that it's taking effect, or <laughs> five. Um, what is it for a lesser? 2d4 plus 2. It's 2d4? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Is that what I, you want me to roll that? Okay. Yeah. 2d4. I'm going to take... Oh, no. <laughs> you roll two ones. <laughs> uh, oh, it's two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I rolled another one. <laughs> okay, three. see. So you, so you regain three. six hit points. You get six hit points Pretty back. Pretty good. I'm going to pull out um, a piece of cloth and tie it up and tell him, fight onto this. Okay, big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> and dude. I'm going to... Strangling him um, with it. Can you tell me what the arrow <laughs> looks like for a second? Yeah, so it's sticking almost straight out of his shoulder, and it's not very far in, but you cannot actually see the the head of that that bolt. Whether it's just a straight shaft or an actual like forged iron bit, you can't even tell. Oh boy. Um <laughs> And what's the back end look like? It's just a normal fletched bolt, so it has the th like the triangle of the, the feathers triangle going back along end. the back side okay. of it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to look at him and ask, are you ready? 
Am I good to do this? I'm gonna push from the back of the arrow through so it actually does protrude out the other side. You s hold on, listen. I haven't said anything. Oh wait, you said I don't know what the arrow is on the other. Oh. Yeah, you don't. It, okay, it I'm assuming to be very it's a spike. Into him. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. can I <laughs> can I retcon that real quick? Yeah. Can I check the arrow that's in my shield? Yeah, you're gonna have to make a strength saving throw to pull it out, though. No, no, no. I don't need to pull it out. I just want to see what the end looks like. The end that's pierced through my shield. Okay, so yeah, that one is a metal tip. And it's like it's like a four prong almost. So it, it has like if you know you pull backwards, you're gonna rip out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like if two normal like flat arrowheads were just kind of crossed. Glute, and I show him. I slap his face. Go, look, and I show him. If I pull this backwards, I don't think you want that. I have to push it through. Unless you can tell me what it feels like in there. Am I close enough to see all of this? Could I do a medicine check from where I'm standing? Or, like, could I yeah. see if there was any, like, if the, what the best possible outcome could be? I don't know what check that would be. Like, there's no... I don't know. Uh, above the table, uh, can you fucking heal an arrow out of somebody? Like, does that... Right? No. Yeah. No, you, you have to do something before you can oh, heal oh, oh. the yeah. wound. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's gonna be in there like, until... Yeah. You can't restoration uh -huh. and the Basically, arrow fucking right. disappears. Uh, so, <laughs> I can I feel how deep it is? Me? Now that I'm healed? A little bit, I guess. This is an interesting one. I like this. Make a survival check. <laughs> I can feel yeah. it. It's four prongs. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking hurts like a bitch. It's four prongs. It's half iron, half steel. It's about 3.6 inches oh, in yeah. my left shoulder. There's a 19. There's some poison on it. 19. Okay. So, 30. in the time that you've spent traveling around, you've never been shot by a bolt before, but you've certainly been pricked by different thorns and things. And as you try to, like, move your shoulder, you do feel that sharp pain as it, like, each time you move, it kind of starts to push farther into your muscles. But it it's only, like... A, de a defined point like if you move it or wiggle it around it doesn't seem to be pulling back against you it just moves as you do just just what what do just you just pull it what do you feel it's in there anytime i move but uh just you want me to just pull it from where it's pierced yeah just give, give me a one two go okay wait uh, Leos is gonna go into the bag and grab a potion. He's gonna say, "You're gonna need this." <laughs> and he's gonna give it to Glue. Okay, that's another one. <laughs> Just above the table. Keep okay, in mind, guys, we, we don't have, have a lot. We're running out of potions so <laughs> fast. <laughs> we have used. If we if we take no, no, a long no, no, rest, no. we will no, heal. No. We'll I be fine. Encur <laughs> I didn't encourage him to use it yet. I'm just giving it to him if he requires it. I did not tell him to take it now. Uh -huh. Just above the table. I did not do that. We, so. we're, okay. we're gonna drink all the health potions before we even get to the long rest. <laughs> like, <laughs> like above the table, behind us is some beds. We just gotta fuck get zero out of them. Um, okay. Just pull it. So, and I don't even give him a count. I just hold his shoulder and I just pull the back end out. Well, yeah. Lydice, I need you. I need. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, he God. passes out. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Seven. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So, as Revan like quickly yanks this bolt out of your arm, you had thought you might be able to hold it. You can't. You spit that little bit of cloth out of your mouth and you let out a scream so loud that it echoes into the far chamber of the cave that nobody's even been into yet and back to you. <laughs> and then you just slump down on the table, unconscious. Okay. You are. Um. 
I just look at everyone. Uh, can I check his pulse? Make a medicine check. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, help me roll well. Mm, nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It takes you a minute because you've never really done this before. You're not used to checking for pulses. It's usually something that you would have left someone else in your group to do. But eventually, you kind of feel around on his neck in a bit of an uncomfortable manner, considering you'd also just gagged him. And eventually, you do feel that, like, very slow, like, thump, thump. And you're like, okay, he's still alive. Anybody that's good at bandaging, please take a look at him. And I'll back up. I walk over to him. Um... I would like to attempt to bandage him. Okay. Make a medicine check. And with what you just said, I'd like you to make it at disadvantage. Okay. A six. It's a rough patch job. From the outside, it looks more like you're trying to patch his shirt rather than use something to cover the wound. And while, at least in your mind, with it wandering elsewhere and finding it hard to focus on what's actually in front of you, you feel like you've done a good job, but with him unconscious, there's not really any way to tell. All you can see is that with the small amount of cloth you use to actually cover the wound, eventually it seems like the bleeding has stopped. He'll be fine. We'll look over Alonin. Keep an eye on him tonight. Um. Do, do I see the hole through the walkway? To the second area we haven't been yet? If you turn around, you'd see it, yeah. What's over there? Is the torch lit? The one that they it's lit before like they the got up? Well, there's the campfire. Fire, that's yeah. Like next oh, okay. To the so table. that's okay. And is that lit? So we're all able to see this room. You can see the far end of the room, but okay. the two that don't have dark vision can't see very well outside of the thirty foot range of that fire. Um, I'm game to go check it out. I'm okay enough. Does anybody want to stay with Glute? I will. Yeah. I think seeking out trouble is more dangerous than just letting it come to us. It's not so much seeking it out as much as it is making sure there's no more beyond that point. If we go and we're already down one, plus we're all pretty beat up. If we get into another fight, who's to say that we'll make it out? At least here we have a way to get out. Z? If it, I'm with London on this one. If it means anything, I can, um, I can create a, uh, uh, an illusion that looks like the rocks, um, just at the front of a door. So, even if somebody coming from the, you know, inside to where we are, it'll take them a moment to say, like, wait what's going on like what's happening it's 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 a really well sold illusion um so that option is on the table if it makes you guys feel better also we may want to bring the bodies in as well just in case that's a good point um i will i'll go to grab a body outside if somebody would like to join me those that can carry and pull that have the strength to do so um those that can't see what's around here see if it's safe just make sure that we can stay here for the night I will stay in the cave um Lonan will stay in the cave and uh, just kind of investigate around look around see what he can find make sure everything's okay and safe I'll go out with Revan and I'm gonna stay job, in but... I'm gonna stay in and cast that illusion. So there is like a 
a fake a fakey wall. So at most you can do a five foot tall and five foot wide, so essentially like a five foot cube. And the doorway or like the other entryway, one you can't see because there's no light on it. And two, it is ten feet wide and about fifteen feet tall. Oh, that changes things around these parts. Um well, uh considering none of us probably saw that, um uh, I'm gonna walk up to it and I'm just gonna I'm gonna say, okay, um never mind. Uh, um and I'm gonna walk back because there's absolutely nothing I can do. Uh, do I if I walked up to the door, I'm not seeing anything through it, still dark. So if you walk up to that door, as you are standing in the doorway, it takes a minute. Your eyes are still adjusting to the low light, especially as you walk farther and farther away from that campfire. Mm -hmm. But while you don't see anything on the floor, you do see a large number of what appear to be mushrooms encircling the walls in the room and casting a faint glow over what appears to be water and a very large pool of it from what you can tell. That is um, incredibly exciting to Leos. <laughs> um, do I recognize these mushrooms at all? You can make a nature check if you would like. Just above the table, does his lantern, is it glowing? Does it light up anything for him? Does that help? If, it, if it's not in his hands, no. Okay. Um, so that is a 16. 16, yeah. So you don't know them by name. However, you do know that they are a harmless species of mushroom, well, multiple different harmless species of mushroom that tend to glow or to grow inside of these caves and produce a natural light to replace the fact that they see no sunlight. Um, do I know if, if they are edible and safe? No. Hmm. Um, that is okay. You're... I'm going to... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Your knowledge of these is strictly limited to books, and it's more telling you that they exist. It's not telling you if they are safe to eat. So you okay. haven't even known or like read anything specifically about each different species of mushroom. It's just you know that they exist in these caves. Hmm. Um, I'm going to make my way back to Lonin and or I guess uh, uh, who's currently at the campfire. I'm on my knees beside um, Gluteus's body, uh, just I'm, holding his hand and just watching him. I am looking around, but staying close to Emery. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to uh, to you two, um, and I'm gonna inform them there is um, there's flowing water through that through that cave, and it's not flowing; it's a stagnant oh, pool. Okay, okay, that's. Um, there's a pool of water in that cave. We could at least, if the water looks safe, we could wash his wound to make sure it's not, or it doesn't get infected. I don't know what to say right now. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking. I. I'm gonna look. How, like. <laughs> you know, like when somebody looks at somebody else and they're just kind of like. A little like. That's kind of pathetic, right? Like, that's how Will's gonna look at Glute right now. So, from my distorted perspective of being like. He's being a little bit intense about this. Is he gonna be fine? Is he just kind of? Is it? Does it look like somebody who's never dealt with this before and maybe is being just a little over dramatic? But they're gonna be fine tomorrow. Are you trying to remember if you've seen someone in this similar state pull back from it, or are you just trying to investigate him specifically and see if you can gather anything? I'm trying to compare the stuff that he's going through right, this arrow that's, you know, causing him damage in this bad path job to the past that Leos and I come from. And I'm trying to decide if it's a, like, is it an actual serious thing or is it just like a buck up kid, you'll be fine tomorrow. Make a history check. 
Should have tapped Loot and ask him. <laughs> He's just pretending. <laughs> hey, bud. Uh, 17. By two. 17. So, in the time that you and Leo spent and er, trapped by the hand, you endured a lot. And a lot of things that you don't even tell each other about. And on those very long nights of various different kinds of torture and abuse and manipulation, you suffered things that no person should ever have to, let alone someone as young as, as Will is. And while in your experience you are kind of jaded to it and you think something as minor as a crossbow bolt in the shoulder that isn't fatal should just be shrugged off you don't really know what gluteus's life has been like you don't know if he's had time to become numb to things like this so he may wake up fine and walk on like nothing happened he also may need time to recover and rest his arm more than anyone else so it's hard for you to get a concrete idea, especially with him currently being unconscious on the table. You can't exactly just ask him. But your mind doesn't push you in any particular direction. You know that you could walk it off. You know, Leo definitely could walk it off, get, considering what had happened to him earlier this same night. But there's no telling. Um, okay. Um, I'll look at Leo and just say, just let him sleep. If it's bad, then we're close to Raven's Hollow. But if we move him, we might just hurt him more. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check on Emery. Emery, are are you okay? Hey, um, is he going to be okay? He's uh, he's tough. He'll be fine. Just give him some time to rest. She lets go of Glute's hand and looks at hers that still has blood on it. Am I a bad person? I've... I've done things in my life that I'm not proud of. That doesn't make you a bad person. You're fine, Emery. I am, and Marie gets up, and she tells Gluteus, I'll be right back, as if he could hear her, and um, walks towards where he said the water was. Will will follow her. I'm going to do the same, and I'm going to grab a torch as well. Emery? Mm -hmm. How old are you? be completely honest, I don't know, but Lyra told me, Lyra told me that I am 99. I'll immediately look at Leos, sorry. I, I don't remember, um, can I tell you guys a secret? Of course. Always. When I met them, I thought it was just a few days, maybe a few weeks. But Lyra said I was gone for, for about 60 years. So I, I don't really know how old I am, but she says we were going to celebrate my 100th birthday. I don't get it. And she continues walking towards the water. I don't get it. I don't feel like this. Yeah, um, I'm going to follow her. Just trying my best to keep it casual, but does not do a very good job. Yeah, um, I'm 17, and um, I've been 17 every year for a really long time. 
He looks back at him. Really? I, um... I did a lot of things for the hand for a really, really long time. And, um... I'm gonna just look at her. I'm gonna just pull my shirt, like, right here so you can see his collarbone. And you can see that there are tattoos that cover. It's almost like his skin is black that are just dense tattoos that cover and disappear down into his shirt. And um, he just looks at her and goes, I don't get it either. But They did that to you? No. When we take a life, we respect it. Because it stays with us. And sometimes it stays inside of us. And sometimes it stays around us. Or sometimes it stays on us. Taken a lot of lives. Cynthia died. And that's very sad. But just because you died doesn't mean it's all over. She. Before everything happened. They wanted to be my parents, and I finally had a mom again. She was a good person and didn't deserve to die. I'm, I still don't know what that means, but I, and she remembers what she just did outside. It's not a good thing. I have a pretty picture too on me, but they don't appear all over the place. But it, that one was done to me. By who? He's the magic man, but you can't talk about him. Why? He might be listening. Lonan... Has Lonan ever heard of a magic man? Make a history check. Gianni, make a constitution saving throw. Six. A seven. Lonan, you, of everyone in the group, might be the second best traveled, because you've been sent all over the lower half of the continent, and you've heard a lot about magic, heard a lot about men. Usually, though, when someone refers to a magic man, they're given a name. So... To hear her just talk about the magic man as if it's one definitive person, it's not like anything you can remember. And now, as you are going through that thought process in your head, Emery is gone. Conan will stand up, very calm. He'll just look at Leos. Looks like we can't talk about the magic man. Emory. I get. Go ahead. And have your conversation first. Um, oh, I was gonna say, I guess that's so. We have these, and I lift up the um. What are what are they again? Oh, the stones. But yeah, like the stones. Um, 
and and I'm gonna call out to Emery and see if she responds. Emery, you didn't go very far. You were actually sitting once again on the bench, or not on the bench, on the table next to you. When you poofed, you just kind of went from the next to that pool of water to on the other side of the room, now sitting next to where Gluteus' head is on the table. Can we see her? If you're looking out? Yeah. Yes. If you were looking toward the pool where she just was, no. Okay. I would make a, like, as I appeared, a faint sound, but more of like a, not like an ah, but like, I wouldn't even know how to do it, but it's more of just like a gasp, almost. Mm -hmm. Anime surprise? Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, like that, yeah, like, oh. <laughs> Are we able to hear that? Both of you make perception checks. Nineteen. Uh, Twelve. Lonan, yes. Leos, no. I'll look at Emery right away and just go. Maybe we don't tell Revan about that one. I mouth facing towards him. Not mouth, but like whisper like, I'm sorry. I'll just look at Leos. Say nothing. Um, I will, uh, I will turn to see Emery. You see, Emery, we, we are no longer scared when that happens. And you don't need to be scared when you're around us. Always know we'll keep you safe. When you're, um, fighting, you should try to be scared. Because if you blink away, they can't hurt you. Do you remember what I said about your fear? Use it. Because it's what makes you strong. But when I got scared that Jiren, I sent Cynthia after him. And she's not alive anymore because I got scared. It would have never happened if I didn't. She looks down at Glute, and she just gets quiet and goes back to just holding his hand because she doesn't want to talk about it anymore. I will go back to just checking around the campfire for anything good and leave her alone. So, Emery, I do have a question. Does Emery put any stock in anything that Lonan just told her about using her fear rather than trying not to be afraid. She hears him, but she has this well sought feeling of just if I get scared again, somebody else I care about will die. And so she hears him and she wants to believe it, but immediately it just leads back to just seeing her mom over again. So now, Revan and Z, you two have walked out in order to collect some of the bodies and bring them in, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you start with the ones that are in the hallway and just closest to drag out, or do you start with the ones that are outside? Probably outside, yeah. I mean, that's what I, as Revan, would be like, we should get the ones outside and sight yeah. out sooner, or in sooner. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, and do the do the two of you make any conversation as you were doing this together? Yeah. Um. As we make it outside, and how many bodies were outside? Two, or did we have two, three? And there are four two. in the hallway. Um. 
no conversation on the way out of the cave, but once we get outside, uh, as Revan grabs the body, he'll look at Z and go, How many of those have you been in before? Not too many. Me too. Did well. Yeah. I try. You did too. I appreciate um, the, the confidence that I have in you for uh, helping take care of Emery. It's not your job to, but you do it anyway. Granted, it's been a day, but you seem pretty willing. There's reasons for that. What do you mean? I know what it's like to be a kid and scared. And having kids of my own, I have a soft spot for them. Feel the same way about being a scared kid. Sometimes even still feel like a scared kid. Um, drag the body into the cave. Um, listen really quickly to see if I hear any, like, you know, urgent things, but I don't. Um, and then go, I'm assuming Z, you pull the body in with me, kind of like relatively yeah. where I'm at. Mm hmm. I talk to you for a second out here. You know, we'll get back to that in just a second. Yeah. You still feel scared? All the time. Jurens put this in my hands to protect her. I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I went from having, and I paused for a second, and for the first time since we've now gotten here, I realized that I haven't thought about the group. I knew that I wasn't, That they weren't here, but I just hadn't really put any thought into it. And I look at Z and just go, I, I had that group that I was with. And when everything broke down at the, or everything went down in, in the village, I have no idea where they are. And I know we left hastily, but I, they were my people. And then all of a sudden they weren't. Now I have a kid. What? What was she doing? What do you mean? At the table. When, when? you threw all your things down. He thinks for a minute. A couple seconds, not a minute, but... 30 minutes Z later, he finally springs out with a response, and Z is not even standing there anymore. <laughs> I'm not even entirely sure how to explain what it was, but she just kept telling me that she sees something in me. And I am only telling you this because... Emery's safety is of the utmost importance, and it seems like everybody here needs to watch her, and whatever Leia was talking about, I need to make sure that I'm also okay. Hmm. 
all she kept saying was that there's always been something in me that has scared her. And I have no idea what she's talking about. I have something with me as well. That's for another time. Z? Mm -hmm. I would like for you to make an insight check against Revan. It's a six. It's hard to properly gather what exactly he's conveying to you. He's worded it in a way that makes sense, but given your specific history, there's an uncomfortable sense of familiarity in what he's saying. And not just with his words, but with him. It's not something you could point out. It's like a word stuck on the tip of your tongue that you can't quite get out. But it's there. And I look at him in the eyes and put a hand on his shoulder, pat him on the shoulder. Say, we'll get through this. I sure hope so. Before... We have to. Oh, sorry. Revan thinks if he's going to say anything more, pauses and realizes that he's said a little more than he's comfortable with, but... And before we walk back in to deal with the rest of the bodies, um, is there anything else out there that I see? Outside? Yeah, like, is there any type of other danger, other... anything? You make a perception check. Is there... Um... Natural twenty. How afraid are you of squirrels? <laughs> yeah, right. So when you look out from from the, the front of the cave, you finally have a moment. Like having told Zelithin what you just said, you feel like there's a weight that's come off of you, and with that weight coming off, you feel like all of your senses are better for it. You can see better. You can hear better. If you ate something, you would, it would probably taste better. And as you look out, you can see squirrels moving out through trees. You can see birds sitting in their nests in, inside of the trees and feeding their young. And you even hear an owl that's, to your knowledge, probably way too far away for you to naturally be able to hear it. But you hear it who? And then you hear something get snatched out of the grass. And then you don't hear the owl again. But you don't see any danger. A circle of life. Z, hang out here with me for 20 seconds. Just take it in the outdoors, the calmness we've had a day, and I don't want to stand here alone. Revan lights up a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Like an 80s no, cop just... who's too deep undercover, you know? <laughs> his his face is jacket. completely clean shaven, but he lights the cigarette and he immediately has a full mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day, brother. <laughs> just another day in the city. Yeah, Puts it out feels on like just. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> feels like just yesterday I was just a recruit at the academy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's happening? <laughs> academy. <laughs> and then uh, I'll. I'll stand next to him. Slightly behind him. And just kind of look him up and down and then look out into the woods. And just... Contemplate things. 
And we'll head back inside after that little break. Okay. Um, also, so, bringing in the rest of the bodies around the corner. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you pile the remainder of the bodies in, in a corner by the entrance just to keep them out of sight of anyone passing by and avoid suspicion. And as you return to the rest of the group, you see Emery laying next to, or not laying, but sitting next to Gluteus's head as he lays on the table. And you see Leos and Lonan. They had kind of looked around the cave to see if they could find anything useful, and all they really found was more firewood. But they're now sitting, I'm assuming, by the table or on the benches, just talking. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Lonin is actually sitting probably next to Leos or however, but he um, is writing in a little black book. Okay. Leos, what are you doing? Um... I'm still standing. Um, uh, <laughs> um, I'm standing <laughs> at, at torch in hand, um, and I see Revan and Z come in. Um, bodies taken care of. Yep. At this point, you can see them in the corner now. Oh, oh, I, can, oh I can already see them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. It's the last of them. Good. Listen. We all desperately need rest. I agree. Um, I'll look over at Emery. Okay, kiddo. She looks at him and back down at her hands. Still covered in blood because she couldn't get to the freaking water. <laughs> Do you want to wash that off? Oh, wait, I don't know about the water. JK, take that back. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> take that back. <laughs> <laughs> um, if only we had some water to wash that. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody else, looking at glute one more time. Actually, and then I look at Emery. Is he still okay? Can I check? Would that be like a medicine check or? With him being unconscious, it'd just be a medicine check, yeah. Okay. Checking for his pulse, his breathing, etc. 10. Takes you a minute. Again, your mind is not in the right mm -hmm. place to be doing something like this quickly. But eventually you find his pulse and you can see his chest slowly rising and falling with now steadier breaths than before. He's stable. Thank you. I think he's doing better. He still won't wake up, though. He just needs the rest. I don't think he's... From his reaction alone, I don't think he's used to this. Um, I agree with Leos. Um, kind of straight my back. Um, we should rest. Uh, I'll take first watch, because we should not all be asleep at the same time. I will um, too. Revan hears that. Doesn't have any movement to it. Just pauses for a second. Anybody see what's over there? Point to the other side. Yes. Yes, what we have. It? Water. That's it? Water? And mushrooms. Mm. Um... Emery, you want to go wash your hands? She uh, gets up from the bench like a child would. And I'm going to just... go, not helicopter parent, but walk, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right behind her, or behind her, but just making sure within range so I can see. 20 um, seconds. I, I, I would actually like to stop. I, say that. The, I would like to stop those two, and um, I'll say... I will see if the water is safe first. Thank you. And then I'll make my way to the water. Okay. How would you like to test it? Um, well, I mean, at <laughs> well, first, like, <laughs> at, at first sight, <laughs> do I notice anything out of the ordinary with the water? No. Um, there's, there's not really anything in it that you can see. 
Okay. You can't see the bottom as it kind of drops off mm -hmm. at a certain point, but at least from first glance, you don't see anything in the water or anything that makes it seem like anything more dangerous than just water. Okay. And and like, I'm I'm touching it at this point. Nothing wrong. Everything good. Oh, your foot immediately melts off. But other than that, you're <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, so I'm, just, I'm like Anakin at the end of fucking Avengers. <laughs> While the table glue wakes up, take a shower. <laughs> and fucking, his, his foot melts off and he lifts it up and he shows me like, no, nah, I think it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that damn, it always gets you the pit of acid of surrounded by the yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, It'll get you every time. Classic. It's a classic prank. Classic. That's on page 234 of the player's handbook. Can get you I did it to my dad once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna fill up. Um, I have a, I have like a water skin in my inventory mm -hmm. um, that carries uh, carries four pints of a liquid. So I'm gonna fill that all up, and then I'm gonna quickly, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do a little rinse of my face, uh, <laughs> a little, a little rinse of any uh, exposing part of my body, <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna feel a little bit of relief, and then I will go. And I will let the others know that that the water is safe. Okay. Then so, it's a hundred percent safe. We've cleared that from that whole interaction. There's. I didn't yeah. consume it, so I don't know if it's good to consume, <laughs> but it's good to touch. His face <laughs> isn't currently melting off, so okay. Yeah. I think it's okay. Um, Cabin fever. I. I'm assuming I can see him do that with dark vision and him going in there and all of that. And, um, I would follow him in, or did you stay by the table? No, we we were walking over there. He said he was going to stop us, but I got to like the entrance okay. of it before. Then yeah, you watched that happen. Okay. Um, I think you're okay to go, Emmy. Emory gets down like on her knees by the water and begins to take off the wraps from her arms and from her hands that go like into her sleeve, roughly about here. Um. And on the back of her forearm, would he see what I'm doing if he was watching? If he, if your back is to him, he would not see your right arm. Okay. Um, well, she takes the wraps off and she starts rinsing the wraps and rinsing her hands and thinking about everything that happens and starts to uh, tear up a little bit. But it doesn't make like whimpering noises or anything, but she's just washing and thinking about everything that just happened. And then she gets up and she's done. And puts them back on after she rings them out. Um, I just let her do that. There wasn't no need to go in there. Um, as she walks out, I'll just do a quick in and out. Just same kind of rinse off sort of thing to clear off my hands. Um, and then go back out. I just kind of let her wander where she wanders. I'm not... I'm loosely watching her, kind of just letting her have her own time after everything. Um, okay. There isn't much else until we go to bed for me. Same. Same. I'm waiting until everyone goes to bed. Glute? So... <laughs> Anything for <laughs> you, <laughs> bud? <laughs> He's Homer Simpson on the table right now. He's going to wake up before everyone else, so he's got that going <laughs> for him. Um, okay. Emery, Leos, and Z, the three of you can choose how and where you would like to rest. Emery, I know you don't have to sleep. You can, or you can choose to just meditate for four hours. I want to sit cross-legged on the table next to Gluteus if there's room, or on the bench next to him, and um, I'll meditate. Okay. And while I will actually take off the amulet of who I worship mm -hmm. and have it in my hands and then I'll meditate. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, uh, wait, so she's on a bench uh, next to Gluteus? She's on the table. Like, oh, on the table. She's sitting cross-legged on the table. Okay, Um, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put down you know, my little bedroll to where I can see her and Gluteus. Um, and I'm just getting wherever that is in correlation to them as long as I can see them. And then I will just, I will sleep there. Okay. 
uh, who wants who wants to take second watch? So, well, unless you guys are going through the night. Oh, I need to rest. I I will I can do two because I only need to sleep for or no I can only do one because I need to meditate for four hours as well. So it it I, I'll just uh, I'll just I can wake you Z if you'd like after. I'll do I'll do second watch. Him and Gluteus probably. Yeah. As soon as Z goes to like lays down, I will turn around and look at Revan. I think we have to talk. As he says that, I uh, does Gluteus have a bag on him? Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, there's other bed rolls on the the floor still, right? I'm there's gonna four. take one of the bed rolls that's just there on the floor. Um. And you said it's an eight foot table, so he's spread out and she's able to sit on it and everyone's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the bedroll uh pillow blanket, I'm assuming. Something simple, or is it just a bedroll? It's like, more like a sleeping bag. Okay. Um comfortably somehow put that on glute enough to cover him to give him some type of warmth over uh his resting period. Um Sure. I will just move to like where the bodies are so we have a clear view of like down the tunnel. But still keeping in sight with everyone else so we can kind of see both is my goal. Hmm. Revan just walks up and stares. Will stares back at him. So, um,. Did you ever find your friends, or...? Nope. I don't even know what happened to him. I'm just here. Will will... Uh, Lonan will take his daggers out. And he will pause for a second. He will put them on the ground. Better than the first time. And the second. Why is it that you think that I hate you? You haven't asked me anything. Neither of you. Other than following me and then just asking what I was doing do you what do you recall from that because it seems like yours your version might be a little different than mine you and your friends followed me and Leo's when we were minding our own business Why? There was a loud, abrupt noise in a tavern that I had just gotten to. A lot of pissed off people out of nowhere and a lot of running around. For my own safety, would you not consider that I needed to know what was going on? You say no. follow. I just left the tavern to see where you went. And then I stopped. You stopped because I made your friend angry and it wasn't worth the fight. That's not why I stopped. I was out there before they you. were. I don't trust your friends. Pauses for a second. I don't know if I can either. Where did you meet them? 
That is a long, long story. Well, by our dear mutual friend Leos's will, it seems as though we have a long, long time together. I stumbled across them a few years ago. A couple, few. I get lost in time. I was alone. Didn't have anybody. I was in a forest. And I saw a fire. So I ran toward them. And he pauses for a second again. Just asked if I could stay there for the night and when I woke up we had a conversation I was still alive no one had any weapons drawn and I felt safe with them so I stayed and I've been with them since I thought that you were with the hand and you were coming to find us. So I was ready to die because as you've seen, they don't hold back. I'll take that into consideration with everything that happened prior to that prior to that I needed you seemed dangerous and now I see because I am I am dangerous because they made me dangerous what happened to you Let me guess. Long story? No. Held captive against my will, tortured mentally, physically, and emotionally until I broke and then became a tool of mass destruction to take out people who bothered the hand. I'm a killer. They made me. And now, I got caught up in some podunk town on my way to find answers of some apparent child who sees things and here I am with you I'm not that complicated but you didn't ask the questions couldn't really ask the questions of somebody who was being very evasive you found the time to and I look at him When I wandered off by myself, I was angry. I just learned something I had zero idea was even happening. And wanted to be by myself. That was it. I didn't want to bother anybody. I wanted to be left alone. And I walk away, hear a twig snap, turn around, and there you are with a dagger staring at me. Our interactions have all started with you with daggers in your hands, and then you disappear. How am I to ask questions? How am I to not think that you're dangerous? How am I to think that you're anything other than an enemy? And you hide your anger in front of other people and show false personality so people think you're a good guy. What about me? But I saw your anger. I saw your anger. And it was the first time that I even remotely thought that all of it was a facade. I don't get this. How are you so good? How are you so... How do you take a girl to a city 
because her father told you to? What what do you get out of it? Why, if Emery wasn't here, would you even be here? Are you just doing it because Juran told you to, or are you doing it because you want to? Do you ever make a choice that belongs to you, or do you just do what everybody else tells you to do? The choices that I make are my own, whether you believe them or not. It has nothing to do with taking orders. I don't know why you don't understand what kindness is, and to be quite honest oh, no, no, with no. you... I do know what kindness is. But why is mine such a facade to you? Because it's not real. Because you hide behind it. Whatever else you have, something is off. I don't don't know what it is, but something is not What what do you want to hear? What will make you stop thinking that everything that I do is a goddamn lie? Because it seems that my own self is not adequate for you. And you've known me a day. You've called me by my name once, twice, by the way I look, every other time. You've done nothing but judge me and you don't even fucking know me. It's a bad feeling, isn't it? Sure you assume is. I'm dangerous and that I'm this horrible, terrible person and that whoa, all whoa, that I whoa, do whoa. is... I never said... I have two interactions and they were both with daggers out. I have nothing else and I against had you. One, and I had one where I showed you that I wasn't going to hurt that little girl and you ignored it and pulled your sword out on me. That was our third I inter- wanted. I wanted to leave the tavern, and you actively tried to make me stay. You want to talk about protecting people? You have actively been getting in my way of the person that I want to protect. And all that I've done is show you that I'm here to help you with your stupid little quest on this little girl who nobody even knows anything about. She's a hundred. Do you know that? Do you know she has another mother? And no. his eyes open wide. Why do you know that? Because I'm not a bad person, and I know kindness. I just don't show it to you. That doesn't mean I don't have it. So where do we go from here? Raven's Hollow. We have to work together. I'm not talking about destination. I only want one thing from you. What is it? You will see for the first time um, that Lonan gets tears in his eyes. I need you to make sure Leo survives. plan is for all of us to survive. That's what I'm working toward. The more of us there are, the better odds we have. And it looks like we're best friends now. The best. You want to talk about not asking questions, right? I didn't ask. There's a lot to me. 
there's a lot that I don't know. And that is what I'm trying to figure out. So, ask away. But I may not have everything you're looking for. The only thing that I care about right now is the location of your friends, not friends. I believe that they are somehow tied up in this. It is very much the MO of the hand to bring people to places where they magically need to be and help people who magically need to be helped. I was a kid, just wanted to be a kid. And now I'm here with you in a cave. Believe it or not, very similar feeling. I don't know where they're I'll give went. you credit. Go ahead. I'll give you credit. If you give me credit. The only reason that this conversation is going any better than what I had first envisioned it after our very first fight was because of the help for this fight. And it is appreciated, so thank you. And my daggers are on the ground, but you're welcome. Just please don't stand there again during a fight. The first one had me. The last thing that I remember is just seeing you stand there. But this one was different, so I'm just going to go with this one being the last. Last impression means more to me than the first. So thank you for the help. Yeah. And that's it. Revan will kind of just make his rounds. I will um sit down next on the wall, like slide down on the wall. And um in the book that Emery gave me. I will add to the list of things that I'm afraid of. Revan's name. Okay. So. The two of you don't speak again for the remainder of this first watch. And then... As it gets closer and closer to the time for the both of you to rest, everything feels heavier. Your eyes are hard to keep open. Even your breathing feels labored as your body is very desperately trying to get you to sleep. And the moment that Zelathun is woken and Gluteus wakes up on his own and can take over the watch for you, both of you out like a light. Reverend, you barely even have time to find a bedroll to crawl onto. <laughs> and Lonan, you don't just meditate, you fall asleep. Today has been a day for you. Now, Z and Gluteus, you are the only two out of the entire group that are currently conscious. <laughs> Look around. Uh, Z? So you, mm. before you see Zelathun, because he's on the floor, you see Emery quietly meditating beside you. And you see Leos on the floor beside the table with, if he was awake, line of sight on both of you. You see Lonan and Revan laying down to sleep. And mm -hmm. then you see Zelathun, who had just been woken up in order to take over the watch. I uh, let go of M's hand, or if she was still holding it, um, she wasn't. Okay, then I just kind of sit up on the table 
look around and uh, kind of feel my shoulder. Fucking hurts. Um, and uh, uh, Z. Yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> that was a close one, man. Yeah. I never fought like that. I've only been in this situation a handful of times. Doesn't feel good. Are we, uh... Are we next on watch? We are. I, uh, kind of walk away with Z a little further from the group that's knocked out. Hopefully he follows. I, uh, I have one thing for you, man. Um, when, when I was out cold, I, uh, all I could think about is, and I show him my necklace. If, if I ever die on this journey, can you bring this back to the kingdom of Silver Mist? What's it for? It's, uh... It's their only hope. And I, uh... I took it with me. I will try. People, people think that, like, uh, I'm used to this fighting. All I've been doing is just traveling. I, I've only fought literally for the first time today. Something about that, that kid, this, this group. Feels like I need to step up. Same as me. I pull out the fate of card that Leos gave me. I'm tired of being a king's fool. And a tear drops out of my eye. Not because of pain. I just... I have something to prove. And I hope I make it... To do so. I'm if sure we, you will. If we ever get close to... the kingdom of silver mist i don't know if i'll be able to go inside not alone i'll be with you and if i don't take this off my neck and run it straight to the king. And tell him. I'm sorry. You have my word. Then I put my hand on his back. I put the card with the necklace. <laughs> and then I walk away. I 
Okay. So, with this second watch, it goes by just as quietly as the first. And now, the final thing before we end. I want you all to give yourselves the benefit of a long rest. And I want you to do so with the knowledge that you are all now level two. Let's Yay. go! Let's go! Let's go! Justin Let's muted. Go. Curtis! Curtis! <laughs> Curtis, that Holy was shit. incredible. That was Curtis. very good, Kurt. Holy shit. So good. I want you guys to know Kurt, what Curtis just did is the reason why you are level two. Oh, that was wow. so, so good. good. Well done. So sir. good. Oh, that was incredible. Holy shit.